It's time for the fucking Archon quest. Let's do this. Wait until the next day. Are you serious? <laughs> God fucking damn it. We'll see if we can get it all finished today. Hopefully we can. Through the pre-dawn night. Talk to Candice. What? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Say hello to YouTube chat. YouTube, welcome in. Today, we are doing the Archon Quest finale of Sumeru. Which, speaking of, let me get my party together who I want to use in this, I guess. I am, I am going to be using my Sino. I will be using Bennett. Uh, I will be using... I'll use Tiknari because we got his C2. We'll still use Kazu. Screw it. We'll use this team. This will be fun. All right, let's go. Candace, we're here. Well, hello, Candace. Has everyone arrived? Hmm. Everyone is already waiting inside. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's join them. Let me Please. turn this up. Wait a moment. What's the matter? Before attending the meeting, I hope you can promise me one thing. I won't murder anyone. What do you need? Promise me that you won't commit to anything too reckless. <laughs> if I see those sages, I'm burning the shit out of them, dude. Sorry, Candace. Mm, what do you think? I'll try not to. Okay. That's not a promise. Hey, if I see those sages, I'm burning them like they're sage, dude. Oh, I'm so nervous, dude. I'm actually so nervous. Everyone's here so early. But why isn't anybody talking? We already discussed things a bit. Hey, where have you been? I've missed you two. I missed you too, Dea. Are you ready? Day about a when? We can start now. Very well. After some discussion and debates, the group finally works out a detailed plan Are you together. Sure, this is gonna work. I gotta admit, it's bold. Color me impressed. Oh, hmm. it's worth a try. The point of discussion is to arrive at a solution. Let's cut the small talk and move to the next point. Mm. Uh, you're making Paimon nervous. Oh, you're making me nervous. Oh God, what's happening? Oh. You're finally done. <laughs> hey, you, you're finally I have some awake. Other stuff to take care of. <laughs> Catch you all later. Thanks. Day of belly button. Sorry. Jesus. Come on, don't give me that face. I know what you're going to say. I'll be careful. That's what I wanted to hear. Take care. Yes, please take care. Please don't die on us. Well, traveler, Paimon, judging from your expressions, the meeting must have been quite productive. You can tell? <laughs> I'm not that good at scheming a strategy, but I can sense people's emotions. And based on your reaction, things must have gone quite well. Uh, we'll make our move on the next, uh, how do I pronounce that? Nagaba Day? Uh, Paimon's a little worried. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. Wait, what kind of day is that? I don't want to miss anything in this Archon Quest. What does that mean, chat? Does anybody know? Nagaba Day. To be no. honest, Interesting. I feel the same. But you're already some of the most capable people I know. Hell yeah, we are. So you have my trust. <laughs> Candace gave us a compliment. Hell yeah, she Her did. They speak for themselves. Candace, we stayed behind to tell you that, although you won't be coming with us, we'll be sure to remember your words. I'm very glad to hear that. Me too. I've said the same thing to everyone here today as I said to you when you arrived. Your safety is the most important thing. Only when you're safe can the plan be successful. So please, take care. I don't like that. Thank you, Candace. You're welcome. And thank you for taking my advice. Good luck. Oh, God. With everything. I'll be here in the village praying for you. Okay, mommy. <laughs> Meet up with Alhaitham. Do I ha dude, I still I hope we get some answers with this guy by the end of this quest. I still find him sussy as hell, dude. I still find him sussy as hell. But hey, maybe I'm just wrong. And I'm okay with that. Oh. I'm okay if he if I'm just completely wrong. Sounds good. I'll go make some preparations. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, hello, friend. Have you finished saying your goodbyes? Whoa, that sounds ominous. Yeah. To be careful. Yes, she did. But I think my point also bears repeating. Our plan is not child's play. We won't be able to achieve anything if we're simply careful. We must go beyond that and fully commit ourselves to it. Nice choice of words, child 2.0. I hope this is clear to you. I understand and accept. Huh? Shouldn't you be saying something more cheerful to boost our morale right now? Didn't we already do that during the meeting? Fair. Well, because I don't know. I couldn't hear it. Enough words of encouragement. In that case, Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content while I continue to remind you of the seriousness of our situation. 
We Deal. all have our jobs to do, after all. Deal. It's like how some people can be put in charge of logistics while others will fight on the front lines. Makes sense. Hmm. Speaking of the front lines, you don't look anything like a soldier. What? Hello? Neither well, do course. we. Compared to the mercenaries, I'm merely a feeble scholar. But the advantage of not being a mercenary is that I get to stay in a safer place and offer my strategic insight. He's also like the, I'm not saying he's insanely buff or something, but he's the most toned out of all the characters I think we've met at this point. And uh, do we exactly look like frontline warriors? Just think about that mercenary who lost his mind. Mercenary groups are facing constant danger every single day. Well, being a scholar is also a high-risk occupation. True it is. And you are a scholar. I'm not like the rest of them. Even among members of the same species, some will exhibit far more potential than others. Are you an elf? This guy. Huh. I must still remembers when those mercenaries in Port Ormos called you a lunatic. Kind of is. <laughs> All intellectuals are lunatics in the eyes of fools. I'll take that as a compliment. Hmm. That reminds me. I'm not a fool. Do you remember the record we saw in the King Deshret ruins? It mentioned forbidden knowledge. Uh, I do remember. You have a good memory. Forbidden knowledge has the power to drive people insane, but this fact has never been shared with the public. Even I, who has worked in the academia for some time, was never once informed of this. I think... Those mad scholars and mercenaries we encountered may have all fallen victim to the corrupting qualities of forbidden knowledge. Probably. But the academia has always held a different view. They have always believed that symptoms of madness are a side effect of human contact with divine knowledge as mere mortals. Come to think of it, perhaps the academia has also never understood the true nature of forbidden knowledge and thus always approached the issue from the wrong direction. Maybe. The Withering. Elazar and the sandstorms. Don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden knowledge pollution that occurred in the desert thousands of years ago? Uh, it's definitely possible. But Paimon thought that Ermansoul's disease is what caused the withering in the sandstorms. At least, that's what Tainari told us. Mm. Wait a second. Could it be that? Ah, you've connected the dots. The cause of Ermin Soul's illness may precisely be the pollution from forbidden knowledge. Oh. But if that's the case, what should we do? This is huge! We should tell Nahida about this as soon as possible. Oh, wait. Why do you think Lesser Lord Kusanali would have a solution to this situation? She said the key to saving Ermin Soul is contained within the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadavata. You mean, it's related to the scene you saw when you passed out in the Avidia Forest? That whole... The world, world forget, forget me. me thing? Yes. Hmm. It was also just world, not In the world. In that case, right? it's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Only by working with her to save Erminsoul can we completely resolve the problem Sumeru currently faces. Hmm, that's right. To make sure we're still on track, I would like to check on the state of some of our preparatory work. Where are we going? To an Aramite base. Ah! Uh, oh, not the Aramites, did it... it Ah, <sighs> it's only good when it's there. <laughs> Wait, it is the world? I thought it was just world. I thought it was just world forget me. I don't remember it being the world. Interesting. It is just world, you're right, yeah. Yeah, world forget me, interesting. Oh, you made it. Uh-oh, it's him. What are they doing here? The knowledge guys. I gave them some technical work to do. Ah, it's the scribe. And is that the traveler I see? Yes, it is. How's the work going? Ah, yes. We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. One of them is already ready for use, while the others are still under repair. Aren't those devices for can knowledge extraction? What are you doing with those? Look here. What? Huh? Uh, more can knowledge? Are you going to put more weird stuff into his head again? What's that look on your face? Are you scared? Paimon's a little scared, but very, very furious! He's finally getting the screen time he deserved. <laughs> hmm. That's an interesting response. Oh my God. Anyway, we're not going to use this just yet. As I mentioned during the meeting, this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. 
The Academia should also have their own copy. And according to the plan we just came up with... Which is what? Traveler, I want you to record something into this capsule. What? Me? Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? What I may lack in faith, I'll make up with my actions. No, I believe. I... I, I do. Good. Conviction is the most important part of all of this. Kind of. Now, please get ready and put on this device. Um... You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? Do I have to put that on? It looks kind of scary, yes. dude. I understand, but trust me, Paimon, uh, this is something we have to do. It's best if you can do as I say. Because, to achieve this impossible task, it sounds like you'll need to fool your own heart first. Although it may feel like a trick, self-encouragement may be the most important tool we have. Hmm. Paimon can see the point you're trying to make. I'm ready. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dude, this. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. What did I tell you, dude? I knew for a fact that wouldn't actually be a thing that just happens. I knew for a fact that wouldn't actually be a thing that just happens. Where where he's saying it as it's happening and whatever. Uh-uh. Everything went without a hitch. And everyone recognizes and praises our achievements. Sure, okay. Now, open your eyes. Okay. Here. What's this? Read it out loud. Some stirring words have been written on the note. Although you don't quite understand the purpose of this recording, you still follow Alhaitham's instructions. It's done. Please, Hoyaverse, for the love of fucking God, you've shown a hundred times that you can do it at this point. I have to say this every single time just to drive the fact fucking home. You've done it a hundred times where it's the black screen with white text and you let people click to progress. Can you just make that a permanent fucking thing instead of making it go after 0.3 seconds so I can't actually read what's on the screen? It's so annoying, dude, when I know that they can do it. They've done it so much. They did it in the last quest. They did it in the Golden Slumber quest. Just make it a permanent fucking thing, please. Or toggle a little in the settings. It's getting so bad. Oh, it's done. What a fascinating experience. Is your head okay? Does anything hurt? I'm fine. It's just a recording. There should be no negative effects. But what was the point of doing this? Ugh, Paimon doesn't get it. Mm. And that's perfectly fine. In any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. True. Huh? What do you mean? Maybe force used on Skara or the Doctor? Our plan needs to account for those who have long relied on the Akasha. You may find it hard to believe, but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits to them is nothing short of absolute truth. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born, and this device has always supported you during times of need. After all that time, what do you think you'd become? Uh, a fool? A library a of, of, of just believed information, I guess. A slave to orders. Yeah. And that's why rules are so important. In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries and identify gray areas. Who's this guy? Mm. <laughs> just staring. But why would you need to identify the gray areas? You could say that those kinds of ambiguous zones can be very... interesting. Mm. One might even say they're advantageous in the right hands. The things you're interested in are really out there. Are all Sumeru scholars like this? I don't know. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. I'm going to take those two to work on some small projects. You can head to Caravan Rebot and start preparing for the next step. Small projects? We are going to tinker with the Akasha terminal and make a few oh god. modifications. Oh god, I I I uh, don't know how I feel about that. Yo, we're going to be Sino, dude. My man, my bro, my dude. I love Sino so much. He's so sick. I love Sino's vibes, dude. The fact that he just doesn't care and he's so like uh, it feels deadly. I thought we agreed on a plan. God. How can you go back on your word? Wait, what? The plan is too radical and carries a high risk for casualties. I've given it a lot of thought. And in the end, I still can't agree to it. Hmm. But it's still the best plan we have. As a former Matra, you of all people should be able to see the bigger picture. 
and recognize the innate advantages of our plan. I did. And that's how I saw the danger behind these so-called advantages. <sighs> well, Hitham's plan is even more radical than I imagined. Oh, shit. Huh? Why are you guys arguing? Another trailer My line. My friend, you're just in time. Why don't you help me persuade Sino? He's turned against our plan. Mm. We agreed to work out a plan at the meeting. As mercenaries, you're familiar with the local environment. So you'll take care of the specifics. But then, you went to Al Haytham for suggestions. Oh god. Had I known Al Haytham would give you those kinds of suggestions, I would not have agreed to the plan. Look, you already know that we're all on the same side here, don't you? Mercenaries place a lot of importance on their bonds of friendship, but also will not hesitate to make sacrifices if they deem the situation to be sufficiently dire. Oh. I'm sorry, but as things stand, I can't accept your principles. Seems I, you really do understand the ways of the desert. I know how I feel about Traveler, this. Paimon, this is also something you should know. Okay, just spit Paimon's it out. Paimon's plan is to have me work with the Caravan Reebok guards in my capacity as a Matra. We will arrest the mercenaries and escort them into Sumeru City. What? Wait, how can we work with the guards? We can't get through that wall easily, remember? Caravan Rebot would never let so many unregistered members of the Aramites enter Sumeru mm, City. Fair point. My plan will clear us of any possible suspicion and also let us enter the city as a big group. There is no better way. That also sounds like something Al Haytham told you. Very good point. Am I right? Doesn't Al Haytham know how dangerous this plan is? Oh. Of course he does. He told me there is no perfect plan. But this can get the job done. He also said that with the help of Sino and the Traveler, our chance of success would increase significantly. Yeah, but like... I never blindly <sighs> trust anyone. And I've increase always had a good eye for people. From what? They think he made a number of valid points. It's my own choice to trust you. It's like, it's like, it's like, it, it might increase significantly, but if it increases from 1% to 10%, it's still a low fucking chance of success. If I make the arrests alone... I can control myself and prevent you from getting hurt. But I can't guarantee that kind of discipline from the guards. To make the whole thing more convincing, you'll need to resist to some oh. degree. Casualties are inevitable once push comes to shove. I'm okay with the deaths of enemies. But now that we're allies, I'm against the meaningless loss of our own. <laughs> I can't believe a mantra would actually care about us. I've lived a hard life, and I can say that people like you are hard to come by. I've I'm always so treated us. my allies with honesty and respect. They have the right to know important things like this. Now you're making this hard for me. <laughs> hey, is there something we can do to help? Uh, if there's no other way I can help, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I knew you would say that. Hmm. We can help fight some of the mercenaries, which should reduce the number of times you'll have to struggle directly with the guards. That should help at least a little bit. We should respect the determination of Rahman and his comrades. Sino, on behalf of my people, I thank you for your kindness. But this is a mission we cannot turn our backs on. We strongly value the lives of our friends. But the goal we are about to achieve is even more important. We have no fear of casualties because we crave the spoils of victory. So please, lend us your support. We will show you the determination of us desert dwellers. Oh, uh, okay. Now that you've put it that way, I can no longer refuse. But remember, you need to follow the plan and not do anything reckless. Candace made it very clear that we can only achieve our goals uh -huh, yeah. if we can ensure our safety. Don't be another reckless pilot, dude. Since you and dude. I both recognize the significance of this operation, there should be no more animosity between the followers of the Dendro Archon and those of King Deshret. Oh, wow. Everyone's life is equally important. Okay, you have a deal. Let's do this for our shared dream. 
Oh god, okay, okay. The guards should be stationed in the courtyard nearby. You can find them there. I will. <laughs> okay, here we go. Dude, I'm actually nervous, chat. It's the first time in a while I've been nervous for the story. Like, nervous, guards. nervous. General Mahamatra, to, to what do we owe the honor? Like, actually nervous, Keep dude. your voice down. This is a secret operation. I'm going to arrest a large criminal gang near this location. According to the Academia's Guide and Regulations on Secret Operations, I have the right to ask for the cooperation of Caravan Rebot. Ah, of course, of course. Mahamatra Sino's order is the Academia's order. Just let us know what you need. But who exactly are you planning to arrest and how many people are you expecting? Depending on the scale of this operation, we may need to report it to our superiors. They're a squad of Aramites whose number is comparable to Ein El Akmar in Port Ormos. Oh god. They're involved in the theft and resale of supplies from the Academia. As many as Ein El Akmar? This should definitely be classified as a joint operation. Well, it's not- Then I suggest that you report this to your superiors as soon as possible. And treat it as a top priority desert operation. Wow. I will need personnel. Got it. Please wait a moment. I'll contact them immediately. Okay. This is getting intense already, dude. You look so commanding when you're working. <laughs> Are we flirting right now? Because this is work. Well, yeah. You're much more friendly to us. Because I trust you. Okay. <laughs> Paimon can't believe you're still in the mood to chat. This whole thing has Paimon scared stiff. I'm with Paimon Are on this one. even a little worried? What if these guards already know that you have betrayed the Academia and are no longer their General Mahamatra? Even if that guard doesn't know, uh, your superiors might, right? Nah, no way. We discussed this, remember? The Caravan Rebot operation <sighs> is of great importance. But don't worry, the guards there shouldn't know that Sino has stepped down. Okay. How can you be so sure? First. The other Matra still don't know why Sino has left, which proves that the Academia has been covering up the matter. Second, this is a crucial moment for the Academia's God creation plan. If something were to happen to the General Mahamatra, it's bound to attract a lot of unwanted attention. No matter how you look at it, they don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino's departure. Makes sense. A reasonable inference. I agree. Which brings us to our next issue. I'm sure some of you have been wondering if the prediction function of the Akasha will affect our operation. The Akasha is still in operation, so I must remain on high alert. Oh god. Actually, considering the power of the Akasha, it's quite strange that it hasn't already tried to interfere with my actions. I've given that a lot of thought. For now, I don't think you'll need to worry. For now? If you remember. When you first came to Aru Village, all your actions and routes were predicted by the Akasha. It even gave that information to those who kidnapped the village keepers. But, things like that never happened again after we met up with the Traveler. Ah. Hmm. That's true. But why? <laughs> don't, don't look at me, Sido. Look at it from a different angle. Yeah, not this one. Why do you think the Akasha will predict your actions? Because my personal data has been entered into the Akasha. That's true, but the key to this question is, how well can the Akasha make predictions about a person? Fair. Haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? Because the Akasha controls the entirety of Sumeru. The Academia firmly believes that all human actions can be explained through logic. By sorting and analyzing entered data, the Akasha can derive behavioral logic and predict the actions of those who fit an existing logic model. However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all times? Probably not. Emotions are part of our behavioral logic, but can you guarantee that every experience of the same joy or pain would be equally intense? How can our feelings and opinions be predictable down to the letter in every single instance? He's got a good point. He's got a really good point. Sino. In the past, you've always worked alone. Oh! Uh, In the absence of another person who could sway you or your thoughts, the Akasha could produce predictions that were similar to your real-life behavioral that's principles. That's so fucking clever, Decisive dude. Decisive and principled, you were used to solving problems alone. 
That's why the Akasha could figure you out. That's so smart. But now, you've joined a team. And I believe the Akasha hasn't yet figured out the full composition of it. Our thoughts and logic have intermingled and weaved themselves together to become a complicated, chaotic mess. Any one of us could potentially disagree with another. The Akasha lacks data on these interactions, and it's impossible for it to predict your actions in the future based on your decisions in the past. Jesus. After all, there's probably a limit to just how much we can be modeled or controlled by data. So, in my opinion, you're probably safe for now. Huh, makes sense to me. I agree. The Akasha is not alive, and I don't think we can be completely controlled by something without a mind of its own. He's very clever, dude. <laughs> Is that so? My god. I guess there are things that even the Akasha cannot calculate. And people will not be forever trapped by the past. Interesting. Oh, Paimon, so glad that this is settled. Next time, pay attention during our meetings. You made the screen go black and it skipped, Sino. What are you talking about? Uh, will do. God damn it. I'm confident that we can do this. Just remember to stay vigilant. Oh, she looks so worried, dude. I'm actually feeling Paimon on General this one. I feel the same. We were not expecting your presence here. Who are you? I'm the security officer of the Grand Deshret Desert District. My name is Luxembarbo. Hmm. This is my assistant, the Traveler. He will be working with me. Holy giga -jad. The construct next to him is for his work. Beep! Construct! Beep! I've n Did her eyes just look in opposite directions for a second? <laughs> what just happened? Why did she do this with Carcata or something? Beep! Construct! Beep! What a hello, Paimon? Are you okay? <laughs> what a great honor to meet you. Your golden hair is as bright as the sun. And uh, is this the latest technology from the academia? <laughs> yes, it's a construct. Nice to meet you, dear. Have you made a decision regarding the matter I mentioned to your subordinate? <laughs> it seems to be a dire situation, so of course you will have our full cooperation. To be perfectly honest, I've always longed to go on a mission with someone as well known as yourself. There's no need for flattery. Oh, <laughs> yes sir. God. Take your most elite platoon and follow me to the eastern side of the district. We will carry out the operation there. Understood. <sighs> Map. God, Sino. Hurry, bring the map. He's so badass, dude. A guard immediately brings over a map. Sino circles the location of the operation on it. In two days, we will engage Rahman's Aramites and capture all of them. Any questions about the time or location? None at all, sir. Good. See you then. What about the sages, Sino? Yes, sir. What about the sages? Can we kill every last one of them? Most of them? Sino? Maybe hanging around the General Mahamatra isn't so bad after all. Everyone's so respectful towards us. It does feel pretty good. This is all due to the absolute authority of the Academia. And now, we're going to strike back against that massive pillar of power. Get ready. We will move out in two days. Okay. Listen, I'm down, dude. I am down. Wait until the appointed time two days later. Oh, Jesus, chat. Sado was the young male body uh, model because Hoyo knew he'd be too powerful with the adult male body. Wait, what is the... What is the... I'm trying to even think of the difference. The male body types are so similar at the minute. Other than, like, Al Hytham. Sino has abs. I respect you, but where? <laughs> I feel like Al Hytham's the only one at the minute that does. Our helpers have arrived already. Let's hurry over. <laughs> Wait a moment. Okay. Ah! Oh, it's you. Hey, follow us. My assistant, remember? <laughs> yes, I remember. Beep, beep, construct. Being my assistant, you must stay with me. Now let's head over there. It's General okay. Mahamatra and his assistants. But yes, it is. We meet again. Well, hello. Huh. You're here early. It's to show how important we think the operation is. Since this is a big case for the academia, we are prepared to give it our best. I'm glad to hear your sense of resolve. Remember, we must capture them alive. True. They are our only leads for the case. If they die, we will be unable to continue the investigation. Oh, God. Understood. 
Everyone! The Aramites are approaching from the west! Make preparations and be ready for combat. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm nervous, dude. I'm oh. nervous. Oh. Oh? What a warm welcome. What do you want? Judging from those shiny oh, weapons in your hands, it seems like you're not interested in a deal. Ramon. The Academia has caught wind of your smuggling and illicit sales. Come on, let the plan go smooth, dude. If you dude. value your life, I advise you to surrender. Who are you supposed to be? A matra from the Academia? <laughs> I can't believe you came all this way just to catch us. I'm not here to talk. Oh. <laughs> Nobody's given me this much time of day since I became a mercenary. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Brothers! For that slight, let's wash our blades with their blood. Let's show them we Aramites are not to be messed with. Uh, they believe that acting. Oh, okay. I'm gonna buddy wall in one foul swoop. Bam 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 bam. I love Sino. It is over. Ah! <laughs> we have subdued them. The operation is now over. All Aramite mercenaries and related personnel in the area have been arrested. Jesus. Ah, you. Pitiful Dendro Archon dogs! You'll regret this! Oh no! You have apprehended me and my family, and I. There's nothing that I can do about it, you dirty dogs, you! <laughs> I'm afraid you'll regret it first. What? King Jeshred will curse you, and you will all! Silence! Oh! Uh... <laughs> Restrain them and take them back to Caravan Rebot. <laughs> Count their numbers and send them to the academia as instructed by the general uh, Mahamatra. <laughs> yes, sir. Jesus, he just punched him, dude. The guards just got a furious looking Ramada the others away. Of course. Mahamatra Sino, I will now take my leave. If you need further assistance, please come to Caravan Rebot and ask for me. Understood. You are dismissed. Oh, God. Dismissed you Where are. Go? Let's talk elsewhere. Okay. <laughs> Find a safe place for your potential eavesdroppers and begin your conversation. Talk to me, Sino. Talk to me. This part of the plan went really well. Yeah, especially the punch. Yes. Things went perfectly. <laughs> That's fantastic. And that punch you gave Ram on there? Sure looked <laughs> convincing enough. That wasn't part of the script, did. Once we're done here, I'll return to Caravan Rebot and oversee the group's transport. I promise. I'll get everyone into Sumeru City safely. Thank you, Sino. Yeah, you're the reason why everything went so well. <sighs> it's not the time to celebrate yet. Hmm. I believe Dia should already be waiting for you. Go join up with her. She will need you to introduce her to Tainari. Okay. Speaking of which, is it really okay for us not to share the full plan with Tainari? What if he'll feel miffed about it and refuse to work with us? I'm a little worried about that too. Yeah, he is sassy. I have a very close relationship with Tainari. Given how well we know each other, I believe my message alone should be enough to bring him to our side. He knows I won't make jokes about things like this. If Are you we need sure? help, Tainari is the best option. Get ready for the next phase of the plan. Don't keep them waiting. As by a god's side. I thought that said by a good boy's side then. I was like, wait, we are going to see Tignari. Good boy, good boy. I, I, I'm i nervous for what's going to happen, and I don't even know what's going to happen. Which I guess is why I'm nervous. It's about time. Didn't you say our part of the plan is the most important of all? And here you come rolling in late. I'm not late. In the time it took you to get here, I already did five laps around the place, down seven drinks, and even did some clothes shopping. If our plan's the most important, why are you Sorry. drinking? We didn't mean to keep you waiting. <laughs> I just wanted to fix your attitude and rub it in a little. After all, you took your sweet time getting here, and we've got important stuff to take care of. Uh, sorry the situation was a bit tricky. <laughs> I just like seeing that serious look on your face. All right, I'll stop. God damn it. All joking aside, I'm glad you're here. Let's get moving and take care of this as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, but where should we start? Our responsibility is to get a status update on the Fatui Harbinger known as the Doctor. We need to make sure he won't get in our way when we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dealing with an institution that controls all of Sumeru is already hard enough. If the Doctor were to crash the party, it would be next to impossible for us to achieve our goals. Yeah, we 
sure don't want him showing up. Ooh, he really gives Pime on the creeps. Right? Hearing his name just reminds me of those stuffy old geezers in the academia. I'd rather not have to deal with someone like that. Yeah, same. Actually, no, I do want to deal with the Tori, but I, I, I uh, want to deal with him. What should we do? <clears throat> According to the plan, we should first go to Pardis D.I. and ask for Forest Watcher Tainari. If all hate them and Sino's sources are solid, then we can be sure that Tainari still has the Academia's trust. So, we'll find Tainari and convince him to get us the latest intel on the Doctor. Then, depending on what we learn, we'll make any necessary adjustments to our plan. Okay. The Sages have placed spies everywhere on the other side of the wall. Oh, God. I'll follow you as a bodyguard. I didn't expect you to become my bodyguard. <laughs> you should be honored. I don't offer my services to just anyone you know. Oh, is that right? Like, Paimon thought mercenaries would do anything for Mora. That's certainly true. But when multiple employers are vying for your services, you should always go with the best offer. Hmm, let's see. If I were to charge you a bill, I guess I can apply a discount. Uh, how much more do you want? I was not sure we can afford it. I'm rich. Hmm, how much do I want? Oh. Hey, how about paying me with a smile? What do you say? Huh? I haven't seen you smiling much recently. If you ask me, someone like you must look lovely when they smile. Come on, give me a smile so that I can be less worried. Thank you, mommy. I, I, oh, <coughs> dare, dare. Looking good. I hope this pretty smile will become our lucky charm. I'm sure it can be. There are many kinds of smiles, but only a truly joyous one can bring blessings to others. Let's consider this smile a down payment for our future victory. Let's go. It's time to pay a visit to Party DI. She is sweet. I really like Dea, dude. I love her as a character. Like, uh, hotness aside, she is actually a really, like, cool character. She really is. Okay, are we gonna go see Dory? Oh, no. Take Dory. Oh, no, this is where Karkata is. Dory was at the other one. This looks very similar, though. Dory was at the, uh, the palace, right? I never remember where it is this one. Yeah, she was up there. It looks quite similar to this place. Okay. Let's go. Hi, yeah, it does. Hello, Fox Boy. Ah, Traveler Paimon. And you are? Long time no see. Hey there. <laughs> this is our friend Dia. She's an Aramite mercenary. Okay, different introduction could have been better, probably. A mercenary? Hmm, you must have some big news for me. Well, indeed. Teknari, I want to ask you about something. It's something really important. Please help us out. Oh, he looks worried. All right, then follow me. Okay. This place is better. We won't be disturbed by any passerby. Okay, what is this important thing you want to ask me? Uh, have you ever met the doctor? Oh god, I wonder, I wonder if he has when he's talking Collie. Probably not. I want to know where he is. The doctor, huh? He's that strange looking Fatui Harbinger with the mask. Paimon thinks he has blue hair. Yes, I know him. Uh, actually, he left Party's D.I. just a little while ago. Uh, he left already? Ah. Uh. Yeah, he came looking for me. Can I ask what it was about? Sorry to ask you like this after having just met, but your answer is very important to us. For now, all we can share with you is that your friend Sino is working with us. Sino, you say? Yeah, I do say. Hmm. I see. So that's why he hasn't been at the Academia. Okay. I will answer your questions and will assist you any way I can. You don't have to tell me everything that's happened. Okay. <laughs> Sino's name really does work wonders. You're not even a little worried that we might have made it all up? God damn it, Dea. Despite having don't just sow the met seeds you, of doubt. I can sense that you're the serious type. Between you, the Traveler, and Sino, none of you strike me as the type that would conspire to deceive me. Well... You don't need to tell me anything you don't want to. Okay, fair. I'll also get straight to the point. Good stuff. The Harbinger you mentioned came to me because he wanted to take the scholar Hypasia away with him. Oh? Well, that's sus. Hypasia? Why would he want her? What is he after? And what do you mean by take away? Is he planning to leave Sumeru? Yes. He told me his return to Snezhnaya is imminent. 
Hmm. Oh. <sighs> so you mean you're leaving this place soon? Indeed. Otherwise, we could have perhaps talked a little more. His voice sounds very different here. And that voice, the trick. I don't. I was hmm. just about to set out when I remembered something important. To that end, I made a final trip to Pardis Di. Yo, look at this. That looks like a plague doctor mask, dude. Holy shit, I've only just noticed that. Oh my god. Dude, his outfit is so cool. Let me ask. Have you been taking care of a scholar by the name of Hapasia? Your sources are accurate. No doubt because you recruited many informants. But you're right. Hapasia has indeed been receiving treatment from me. Hmm. Forgive me for asking, but how's the treatment coming along? Wait. He's speaking very... Di that wasn't the voice he added the last one. His voice in the last one was a bit deeper, I feel like. Is this a different... Is this not the Omega build? Given the way you're asking, I assume you have something to say. Rhetorical. Don't answer Since if you, you know. asked, I'll be frank. I would like to take Hapasia to Snezhnaya. <sighs> He's British. It's incredibly difficult to transfer a patient. As a scholar yourself, shouldn't you at least be aware of this? Oh... I can't believe your utter lack of faith in me, to the point of even questioning my general level of knowledge. How unbefitting. Well, you're the only one who's ever made such a request. I have my ways of keeping her safe during the journey. In addition, I can also promise that under my care, Hapasia will receive the most advanced and effective treatment. I will personally supervise her treatment and see to her recovery. Would that be agreeable to you? Hapasia was born in Sumeru and remains a scholar of the Academia. Her situation has not become dire enough to necessitate her transfer to another nation. Transporting her to Snezhnaya is risky and the potential benefits are unknown. As the person currently responsible for her treatment, Good I shit. cannot possibly sign off on this transfer. Your suggestion is rude and reckless. I'll pass. I love Tektari, dude. Holy shit. He's so sassy. I don't know much about the doctor, but after talking with him, I realized that, just like many other scholars, he possesses an aura of arrogance that I've come to detest. Does Tatori not know about what the doctor did to Kole? It's not so much that he's looking down on others, Does but not know? he's so confident in himself and his abilities, to a point of near insanity. I would never refer a patient to someone like him. He does? Well, I'm I'm wondering why he would even th even think about entrusting then. Yeah, I was curious because I feel like I feel like he wouldn't have uh, to keep some civility. Listen, civility goes out the fucking window if they're trying to take one of my patients away that has been known to experiment on the child that I am looking after. Fuck that. Civility? Fuck that? I, I, I just don't see it, dude. Uh, do you think I'll just give up on her? I prepared myself for a protracted battle of wits. And was really surprised to see him just give up on the topic. Still, his reaction really concerned me. Mm. Oh. Hello? What, just silence? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see, I see. Of course, your opinion makes perfect sense. <laughs> You're still young, but already quite stubborn. I must say, you are not like what I had expected. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't just let you off the hook like this. But unfortunately, I'm in a hurry today. What with Her Most Noble Majesty, the Tsaritsa, calling for our return. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. It's just as the Academia said... You're a responsible and gifted scholar. Sadly, even with all of that, you're still lacking a bit of shrewdness. <laughs> and that's also why people like you can never realize that sooner or later, everyone must pay the price for what they've learned. What the fuck does that mean, dude? Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Can't help but feel like he's hinting at something unpleasant. I big agree. You asked a question, yet didn't care for my answer. Perhaps I'm nothing but a talking rock in his eyes. He never came off as malicious, but an utter lack of compassion permeated throughout our conversation. From his tone, 
I can sense that he's always looked down on others. Hmm. <sighs> Can't believe he's actually leaving Sumeru. I can barely believe it myself. But if that's true, the situation will be in our favor. I don't think I missed any details. Frankly speaking, I don't want you to do anything too risky. Now that you know a little more, it should be easier for you to stay safe. Mm, thank you for sharing the information with us, Technori. Sorry, we can't tell you everything. We appreciate that you helped us anyway. I won't forget your kindness. It's okay. I have an obligation to do so. Mm. To be perfectly honest, all of this may have started because of me. Wait, what? Oh? What is this? Recently, my master wrote several letters to me. Oh. Asking me to return to the academia and assist him with his research. Hasn't he already asked you several times before? Is that why they got the yes, doctor? But there's something off about this most recent batch of letters. The handwriting and tone are both familiar, but some details have been omitted. My master will occasionally leave a few dots on the back of the letter. One dot means that he wrote the letter on a sunny day, and three dots stand for a rainy day. This has been a habit of his for many years, but I didn't find any dots in his recent letters. I believe... Something may have happened to him. Oh, shit. I get it. Since you are always at Gandarvaville, you would like me, someone already working at the Academia, to investigate this matter, right? I'd like to ask you to do that for me. If you can keep yourself safe, please withdraw immediately at the first hint of danger. Uh... I can do that, but I have a feeling it won't be that simple. The Academia has been working on a big project, I'm not quite sure what it is, but your master might be involved with it. Hmm. If the higher-ups really are hiding something, then it will be difficult to remove myself from the situation once the investigation starts. If the situation becomes critical, I'll leave the Academia. Huh? If you don't see me there for an extended period, that's your cue. Oh, God. All right. We've got a plan. I'll stay at Gundarvaville to support you. If that scenario comes to pass, you must be extra vigilant. And be wary of any messages or direct requests from the Academia. I must say, I didn't expect a warning like this from the General Mahamatra. <laughs> Being loyal to the Academia doesn't mean blindly doing whatever Good. the sages say. Burn the sages! I know what I'm doing. Burn the sages. On that note... Aren't you also being quite distrustful of your alma mater? The academia, yes, but my master is a man of integrity. Even when I was a student, I was worried he'd get in trouble for sticking to his beliefs. Oh. I suppose he's lucky to have lasted so long. But in the end, it's still caught up to him. Oh, man. Oh, man. I see. So you noticed something was up with the Academia from the very beginning. This may well be how Sino became involved in all this. In that case, I must keep my promise and help you however I can. Yeah. Also, if you run into Sino again, please oh. help me pass on a message to him. Trust your own senses and experiences. Oh, so the... I think this may be something he needs to hear right now. Yeah, also the Akasha could be predicting things differently, right? Okay. That could be a good thing. Thanks. Right. Now let's go hunt down this harbinger. Yes! Oh, by the way, which way did the doctor go when he left Pardis DI? That way. <laughs> that way. It's Nova, dude. Gotcha. Thanks so much. <laughs> we'll be on our way. Oh, God. Uh, see you later. It's Nova. That way. <laughs> a Nova true. I don't know. According to Tainari, the doctor is leaving Sumeru soon. I want to check if the doctor was actually telling the truth. How? He also said that he'll take care of everything before he leaves. What did he mean by that? We need to be extra careful when dealing with a person like him. Just to be safe, let's chase him and see what we find. Okay. <laughs> Well, actually, Paimon, the trailer, we did see him on a boat, so maybe a port. We'll do it the mercenary way. I'll find leads as we go. All you have to do is just follow me. 
Easy. I'll follow from behind. Uh, <coughs> I mean... That Harbinger may have tried to cover his trail, but he still left some traces. Oh, shit. We actually are following. Or perhaps he never even thought about concealing his whereabouts. Maybe that's just how arrogant he really is. Well, chat, I'm not going to follow from the yep. front. We're headed in the right direction. You can't follow from the front. That'd be mm. stupid to be walking traces backwards. traces are still fresh, but there's no sign of his entourage. Clearly, they're in a hurry. Side? Then it's not following. It's just walking alongside. Hmm, it's just as I thought. What do you mean it's just as you thought, dear? What did you think? Use your words. We can stop here. I think I know where the doctor went. What is that boar doing? To the south of here is Port Ormos, which seems yep. to be where they're headed. Trailer, baby. Port Ormos? They're going to leave by boat? That's right. Let's go to the port and have a look for ourselves. There's no shot that the doctor is just gonna fucking leave, dude. Time to go. There's absolutely no shot. And I think this might actually be a different clone or a different segment or whatever they call it. And the other one is still here. Where are you, doctor? Look! Fatui soldiers! Thanks to Dia's tracking skills, seems we found the right place. Shh! Don't draw their attention. Okay. The port is crawling with Fatui soldiers. Keep going and see what we can find. Okay. I assume we're now gonna... this is a proper farewell ceremony for a Snezhnaian Harbinger. The Lord Harbinger is leaving. <sighs> I've still only seen him once or twice. I used to hold a position in our homeland, and back then, the doctor spoke in a very different way from How the are way they he not speaks seeing now. Me? Maybe the way people talk in Sumeru has rubbed off on him. It's always like that when you spend too long away from home. When I'm he gets a bush. Back to Snezhnaya, perhaps it will also take him some time to get used to the life there again. Probably. Huh? But, sir, that... that can't be right. No, no, I remember it like it was yesterday. Both his expressions and tones are now very different. Also, for some reason, he seems like he's... all smiles now. You must be mistaken. I feel like big guy's Nobody's gonna see me. To look happy when they're on a business trip. <gasps> He's there. Can I get Diana out and shoot him in his fucking head? Doctor is on that boat. Hide yourself so in what kind of fun do? He is actually leaving Sumeru. What? Oh god. This place will do. We can hide here while we keep an eye on the boat. I don't trust it. So. The doctor didn't lie about leaving Sumeru, but it, could it really be that simple? Are we sure he's not planning something? This, dude, this is a different doctor. I'm calling it. <gasps> what? Uh oh. What? What's the matter? He, he saw us. Uh, hi. Uh huh? I, is he waving at us? It's time to say goodbye. Wait, Jesus, that is voice. Is he the only person on the boat? Huh? You mean? There's nobody with him? And where are all the soldiers we saw on the port just now? They were all here just a few minutes ago. But now, they vanished. <sighs> so this was a trap. There's no one around us. Wait, don't tell me that. What? Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Oh no. What? Uh oh. They might be after Hapasia. Let's get back to Party's DI. Huh? What do you mean? I just remembered. Hapasia once connected her consciousness to the Balladeer. I kind of forgot that was Hapasia that connected that. I'm afraid that she's seen something that she wasn't supposed to see. If I were the Fatui, I would also try to take her away. And if I couldn't. Oh no. Are you saying they're going to kill her? Hmm, probably worse. Let's go. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Listen, chat, it's hard to remember every fucking detail about the storyline of this game when they feed you fucking lore through 50 different tubes. Uh, that's interesting. Party's Holy shit. DI is not a place you Fatui can just show up and do as you please. I believe we've already made ourselves quite clear. Our superior gave us permission to search for and collect medicinal herbs in Pardius DI for research purposes. I mean, it's not that hard, Bran. It's fucking hard when you have to remember literally fucking everything because you make videos on it and shit as well. Dude. Listen, it's hard for me. I don't give a shit if it's easy for you, okay? It's hard for me. I'm telling you how it is for me. Thank you. But you've been in Sumeru for some time already. 
I find it coincidental that you chose to only come here today. Even the Grand Sage himself may not have the right to question our research, much less an ordinary scholar like yourself. I've done my duty to inform you. Don't make things difficult for yourself. Oh, God. It would seem that my words have fallen on deaf ears. You can keep trying to deny it, but coming to Parties DI now? I'm pretty sure you're not just looking for herbs. With all due respect, your baseless speculations will only lead to unnecessary trouble. I don't like well, this. Well, you only have your harbinger to blame. He knows nothing about keeping a low profile. Agreed. I may be staying at Parties DI as a scholar, but that doesn't mean I'm no longer a forest watcher. It is still my duty to protect the peace and safety of the scholars who have contributed so much to Sumeru. Oh, then shit. it seems our conversation has hit an impasse. No one will lay a hand on you, Hapasia. Not on my watch. Oh, God. Tainari, are you all right? I'm fine. These Fatui have really crossed the line. Fuck Time you both. teach them a lesson. Ah. Ow, motherfucker. Guilty. <sighs> wow, that was really quick. We're not getting anywhere. Traveler, Paimon, please go to Hapasia. We need to make sure they don't try to sneak around and attack from behind. The, the purple eye scared me when it popped up on the screen, dude. Got it. Okay, let's do it. We got this. Yeah, the eye. Hapage is still here. Doesn't look like anyone's broken in. She appears unharmed, but why is she so still? She's just sleeping. <laughs> if someone's laying down that looks dead, but they're breathing and still, 99% of the time they're going to be fucking sleeping, dude. Probably tired. <laughs> Everything's fine. She's sound asleep. Oh, that's good. Oh, here we go. Here's where Skara shows up, I guess. So, you think this is over? <sighs> Jesus Christ, could you not get so close to me, dude? The trailer showed this. The Balladeer. What? The Balladeer is here? Yeah, and it's black and white. What the fuck? What is going on? Wait, it's... Not everything is. <laughs> I've missed that look of abject horror. You've given me that look every time we meet. Yeah, because the first time it was in a limited time cutscene and I was scared I was never going to see you again because I didn't see you in the cutscene, but then you also said that you were going to kill us. But, uh, where is he? What do you expect? Paimon can't see him, so is he a spirit, a ghost? Wait, is it because I made physical contact with Hypasia? Is the Balladia in her consciousness? I can hear all of your thoughts, you know. That's scary. Don't you remember? I already saw you the first time you came to Parties DI and made contact with Hapasia. What did you do to Hapasia? I didn't need to do anything. It is her honor to be able to connect her consciousness with me. Uh, who are you talking to? It can't be the Balladeer, right? <laughs> That's impossible. I know you must be curious. I might as well tell you that I decided to enter Hapasia's consciousness the moment I sensed your touch. But why? I wanted to observe you on a fool's errand. Uh, hey, Traveler! What are you doing? Yeah, please, Paimon, shut up for now. My deification is nearly complete. All that's left now are just some final details. Oh, God. Do you understand? Even if you manage to rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali, it will be impossible for you to defeat a bona fide god like me. You're so cringe, dude. Bona fide god like me? Shut up. Is it wise to force that childlike god into a divine battle against me? I'm gonna wipe the fucking floor with you. That academia acted even faster than we thought. Scholars consider the god of wisdom to be the sum total of their faith. It's how they can justify reverence for a god as they construct it. But this also shows that humanity's worship of gods is a combination of blasphemy and exaltation. It's truly laughable. If you can hear my thoughts, I want to ask you a question. Yes. What is it? Don't dare say where is my sister. <laughs> You're acting more friendly than usual, or am I mistaken? Yeah, I'm in a good mood. Which is why I'm talking to you like this. But are you really okay with all this? What do you mean? Oh, are they forcing you? 
The Academia plans to infuse your consciousness with divine knowledge capsules. This is extremely risky. Even if the Academia's theories are correct and you manage to gain the wisdom of a god, you would probably no longer remain yourself. You'll become the new Greater Lord Rukadabata for the Academia. Even if it means losing yourself, would you still want to become a god? <laughs> Those words almost make you sound like a friend who actually cares. But you're wrong. I'm different from all of you. I was born to become a god. My entire life up until this point has just been a meaningless routine. I mean, technically you weren't born, you were just made. Just think about a sheet of paper. By itself, it holds no meaning. The content recorded on it is what gives it value. Okay. All I had recorded down before were some painful memories and boring human feelings. Such senseless drivel should have been erased a long time ago. Indeed, to me, the sight of you fools in your futile struggles is far more amusing. Tell me, just what has this world done for you to protect it with such zest and conviction? Have you seen Dea? Do I need say more? You wouldn't understand. I'm connected to your consciousness, so I can hear what you're thinking and sense the depth of your determination. This is a good conversation we're having. Mm. So here's a word of advice. Let go of your misguided guardian complex. You know nothing about the truth. I'm going to be honest here. I, I agree with that statement. I still don't think we know anything about the full truth of, of Tevat. I don't. It will be for your own good, as well as everyone else's. But I think we'll find out. Humans are a species that can only find bliss in ignorance. I... Hello. You're the most ignorant motherfucker I've met in this whole Archon series. And that's saying something. If that's truly what you believe, why did you keep your connection with Hapatia? Surely with the power you've come to possess, you can cut her off with just a thought. Ah, you've seen my affection for her. If you were in my position, I think you'd feel the same way. She peered into my consciousness and saw my past. Someone like that is qualified to become my first follower. Oh, I get it. All gods need followers. Yep. So Hapatia has been chosen. Her appearance heralds my imminent arrival at the throne of divinity, while her warship shall become my glory. I see. Is that so? You're doubting me again? No matter. Soon, you'll know what kind of authority you're challenging. Oh, God. If you truly cherish your follower, you should protect her from harm. Who wants to hurt my devout follower? Oh. It seems that the doctor does not wish for her to stay in Sumeru and continue receiving treatment here. Isn't that a little suspicious? The doctor wants to hurt my first follower? Doesn't that make you mad? Are we gaslighting right now? Girl boss, Ether, holy shit. <laughs> How very amusing. Has anyone ever told you that you're not good at sowing discord? No, but doesn't that make you mad? What is... It's really bad, like it's stupid. The doctor has never known his place. Even now, the puny human thinks himself capable of interfering in the business of the new god. You're still too naive if you think a few words will be enough to convince me to destroy the doctor. But I'm willing to give you a gift, just like my expression of affection towards Hapasia. I don't want you to destroy the doctor. I want the doctor to destroy me. It is an honor for you to be able to stand here and speak with me. As my listener, you will be rewarded. That look on your face, what are you planning? Both good things and bad things can be called gifts. After all, gods have never needed to be reasonable. Yeah! Paimon, you thunder! Thunder? Could it be the Baladia? Yeah? Yes! Oh, he sure chatted with you for a while. Didn't expect that either. He's become milder, but somehow even more deranged. Uh, where is the storm headed? It can't be. Is the Baladia using the Gnosis to change the weather? That means anyone outside is in danger! Let's go! Tainari and Dia still must be fighting! That's interesting. Ah! Oh. Thunderbolts of lightning are very, very frightening. 
Dude, what would happen if you used all the Norseys at the same time to change the weather? Interesting. Technari just got struck oh, by lightning. Have the Fatui retreated? I saw it. Look at him. <laughs> God damn it. Technari and Day are over there. Hey, what happened to you? He got struck by He's lightning. Hurt. I'm fine. Oh, wait, he actually did. It did the story. Move. I've seen Aramites get struck by lightning before. You need to rest. Oh. Struck by lightning? We were fighting, and just as things started looking grim, the weather suddenly became extremely strange. Lightning started attacking everyone, Jesus. almost as if it were alive. Luckily, there were only two of us, and both of us were nimble enough to dodge most of the strikes. There were a lot of Fatui, though, and they were being torn to shreds by the bolts of lightning. Oh, God. With that, all the Fatui soldiers were forced to retreat. Your wound. I'm really sorry. Why are you sorry? I might have triggered the thunder and lightning. <sighs> it's all right. I'm sure you also never expected this to happen. Don't blame yourself. My wound aside, you look like you've seen something unpleasant. Is Hapasia all right? She's okay for now, but I need to tell you something. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Hey. Didn't I tell you not to move? Stay incredibly still. Just in case. Let's go to Hypatia's place and talk about things there. Man, can he literally, like, not move at all? God damn. He is pretty calm for somebody who just got literally struck by lightning. I, I'm going to be totally honest here, though. Still don't like Scaramouche. <laughs> still don't like him. Oh, God. Thank goodness she's fine. Hey, how about taking care of yourself first? Yeah, agreed. I understand my condition. The wound is not fatal. I'll be all right. Ugh. The more you understand medicine, the worse of a patient you become. I know. They always think they can push through the pain. Jesus. Oh, he sat down. Thank God. Rest for a bit. <sighs> Sorry, traveler. Now you may start. Oh, thank you. I will. You recount everything from the meeting with the doctor at Port Almost your encounter with the Balladier while checking about Abasia. Pog. So that's what you were talking to the Balladier about? Oh, Paimon can't believe what he's thinking. Yeah. The Academia's God creation plan. How ridiculous. Ridiculous. It is kind of stupid. That sounds, uh, ambitious, I guess. Anyway, this is all way beyond me. As long as I can enjoy every day with a drink in my hand, tasty food in my stomach, and a good night's rest, that's enough. I'll only work when I have to. <laughs> I must be the least ambitious person who's ever set foot in Party's DI. Don't say that. I haven't even thanked you for your help back there. Yeah, Don't day is it. badass, dude. Well, if nothing else, all this proves that the doctor really did have some urgent matter to attend to and left Sumeru in a hurry. Yeah, and I also have a theory. A game theory. I think the Balladia is the reason why the doctor is targeting her Pesha. Her consciousness connected to the Balladia and she s has seen his past. True. Hmm, maybe the Fatui want to cover up some secret of the Balladia. Is that why they tried to seize Hapasia? Probably. Yes, the Balladier claims that Hypatia has seen his past. So, what could be there? For now, I'm still not really sure. Have you noticed? The Balladier is not happy with the Doctor's actions. He thinks the Doctor has no right to consider himself as his equal. So, if hmm. the Doctor was to show up again, would the Balladier zap him with lightning? Based on what the Traveler has said, I think he would. Having the doctor gone benefits him as well as us. In other words, we've successfully completed the stage of the plan. The doctor is out of the picture now. I don't believe it because we know he has clones and shit. I don't, I don't think the doctor is out of the picture. Yay! That's a big accomplishment! I disagree. Uh, I'm also happy for you. Thank you for the help, Tainari. <laughs> Make sure you rest up for now. Uh, please do get some rest. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, that wraps things up for us here at Party's DI. Traveler, it's about time we rendezvous with the others at the Grand Bazaar. 
Hell Let's yeah. continue to keep a low profile. You can head there once you're ready. Dotora's boat in a thunderstorm. Nice. Yeah, he's getting the Inazuma treatment. It's kind of nice. Okay, please wait until the agreed time, as by a god's side. Uh, oh, he sat on Karkata dead. <laughs> you can just focus on your plan. Leave a patient to me. My wound isn't going to get in the way. Okay. Guess I'll sit still for a little while longer. Jesus Christ, are you good? Alhaitham and Sino, my boys, kinda. Okay. All right, everyone is here. How did everything go? Any luck with your missions? Let's report back one by one. I'll start first. We've made the necessary modifications to the Akasha terminal. In addition, the props required are also ready. I'll go next. The Traveler and I went to Party's DI. The situation was a bit complicated. That's one word but for we it. Found Tainari. Unfortunately, he was wounded during a fight. He got zapped. Who is behind it? Uh, well, that's the tough part. What should I say, Traveler? The Fatui or the Balladeer? Uh, let's go with the Balladeer. <sighs> After some back and forth, we confirm that the doctor has left Sumeru by boat. He has something urgent to attend to back in Snezhnaya. So, we've successfully removed the doctor from the picture. Also, Tainari's already resting, so he'll be okay. They keep reinforcing this fact that they've removed the doctor from the picture, and I really don't think they have. <laughs> Good. Oh, Tainari also asked us to tell you this message. Trust your own senses and experiences. Yes. <laughs> Alright, I'll remember that. Good shit. Everything also went smoothly on my side. The Aramites should have arrived at their destination by now. Good. To avoid alerting the quarry, they will stay there for now. I can't believe you actually got so many Aramites into Sumeru City. It is pretty impressive. It's all thanks to Ramon and his brave team, as well as their bold strategy. It appears to have been very effective. I'm glad to hear it. Mm. Well, is that everything? Okay, this meeting is adjourned. Hell yeah, it huh? is. Wait, you mean that's it? Well, what else is there to discuss? Shouldn't you end with some words of encouragement? <laughs> you know, to fire us up now? What you, Dad? Personally, I'd rather we all go home and get some rest. Rest does sound pretty pog. <sighs> Sino's not impressed. I hate them. You... Ugh. Why? Well, and if you wanted someone to say something to that effect, then I must reiterate that I'm here to strategize and not to lead. So you should find someone more suitable to do that. Sassy. But I thought all of you academia big shots were great speakers. Then I should remind you that I'm the scribe. <laughs> I know that. So what? Are they floating the right now? The scribe is responsible for recording meetings, not speaking. Fine, whatever. Well, Sino doesn't seem to be much of a talker either. I guess that leaves it to my employer. Employer? Yep. The traveler hired me. She asked for a smile as her payment. <laughs> That's right. So come on, boss. What do you have to say for the team? Yeah, say something to boost morale. Uh, let me think. Huh? What are you all doing here? Who are you? Oh, it's Nero. Oh, hello. Hey, everyone. I'm not disturbing you, am I? No. Not at all. I was actually just about to go find you. <laughs> uh... Judging from the group and all your serious faces, you were discussing something important, weren't you? But you also look like you're up to no good. <laughs> Seems pretty interesting. We're up to all the good. <laughs> Everybody crosses their arms, dead. <laughs> Welcome, Nilu. Would you like to join oh, Jesus. us? Huh? Join you? Yes. You mean, you also want to discuss something important? With me? Sure. Yes. Something very important. Dance. Nilu, <laughs> are there any breaks in your performance schedule in the upcoming days? Huh? Wait, you're seriously inviting me? Alhaitham tells Nilu with the plan on the day. Nilu is shot at first, but it is a lot before before I, something. I can't believe my ears. You are truly the bravest and most passionate people of Sumeru well that I've ever met hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh right the traveler and Paimon are not from Sumeru 
but you are awesome as well. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're pretty <laughs> cool. Right. I... I must admit that I'm a little scared. Same. But I'll try my best for Lesser Lord Kusanali. If I can somehow use my abilities to help you, then count me in. Remember, believe in yourself. Okay. I'll get my friends at the Grand Bazaar to help us tomorrow. Just remember mm. not to say too much. Be discreet. Yep, you got it. All the preparations are done. Now, can we finally conclude this meeting? Yeah, tomorrow we are going to save a god. Please be talking about Nahida and not the Balania. So, have you thought up what you'd like to say, boss? It's hard to believe everything that has happened till now. And our actions will bring change to many things tomorrow. Yep, yep. It's a grand plan and we're all super awesome! That's right. So... Just get a good night's sleep, everyone. <laughs> god fucking damn it. Well said. Ugh. Oh. A good night's rest before an operation. Oh, hi, that was right. Can be the difference between success and failure. Huh. Mm. Thankfully, I've had my place to myself recently. It's been nice and quiet. Uh-huh. Oh, um, nothing. Oh. Okay, let's all go home and get a good night's sleep so we can be up early tomorrow. Oh. Okay. So I guess that means it's time to say good night now. Have a good night. Peace. Victory Road. Wait, what? That's Pokemon. <laughs> Wait, is that a Pokemon reference? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you know, I am kind of lazy, though, so I'm just going to teleport. <laughs> Gym leaders of the new sages. Yes. Hello, you two. Sleep well? Like a doll. Uh, not really. Oh. I haven't got too nervous thinking about today and didn't fall asleep until the sun was almost up. My bad. you all hate them? Naturally, I slept just fine. After all, a good rest should be considered part of the plan, since energy is an important resource. Honestly, true. Y you just want to show off how calm you are. Also true. It's crucial to dissipate any tension before we execute our plan. The only thing you're doing is being annoying. Paimon, are you really saying that? Anyway, <laughs> do you need me to go over the game plan again? Oh, it's okay. I remember it. Uh, oh, never mind. I want to confirm everything again. Our target is Grand Sage Azar's office. Everyone in the Academia knows that's where the Grand Sage's console is. Only they can operate it. Mm. Many restricted commands and operations are executed via that console. I'm sure that console has a way to free Lesser Lord Kusanali. I don't know. I don't know if it you know, would. Hyman's been thinking. What kind of technology could let the sages imprison mm. even a god? Exactly. That isn't something they could have accomplished with their scholarly talents alone. In the sanctuary of Suristhana, there's a device of Greater Lord Ruka Devata's that she once used to isolate herself while meditating. 500 oh. years ago, the Grand Sage at the time modified the device so that it could no longer be controlled from the inside. They were effectively trapping one god with the power of another. Jesus! get to the Grand Sage's office. How cool would it have been if we ended up doing that with the Baladia, just trapping him? Don't forget, today is Nyagarbaha Day, arguably the most important day to the Academia. Mm. The Sages and core Academia personnel are busy loading the latest batch of research developments and legal decrees into knowledge capsules so that they can be entered into the Akasha. Interesting. All the Darshan's researchers have their noses to the grindstone, and the Academia's grounds are flowing with all sorts of people. It's the perfect time for an infiltration. When the Grand Sage leaves his office to supervise the entering process, that's our cue to access the console and free the Dendro Archon. When you put things that way, the plan feels a bit unrefined. <laughs> well, yes. That's just the visible side of our plan, after all. True. If precedence holds, the Academia should have already started preparing for Nyagarbaha Day. Everyone should be in position. All that's left is for us to lead the charge. Well, I mean, I'm Let's about go. it. So are we just going to walk in through the front door, or...? Probably. Yes. <laughs> Were you expecting a stealthier approach? God damn it. Uh, I might can't think of a good comeback. Uh, Alright, it's all on I'll hate them if things go south. Yeah, honestly, I agree. I, I do, I agree at that point. Yeah, mods mods have got it. Chat, don't worry about the emote only. Mods have got it when it's necessary, usually for big cutscenes and stuff. Damn, this place is pretty as hell. Scribe? 
Please, wait. Are you Scribe Alhatham? What do you want? <laughs> Calm down. That's me. <laughs> Is something the matter? I'm in a hurry. Uh, no. I was just surprised to see you here. I had heard that the sages were looking for you not long ago, but I didn't know what for. And, um, also, please don't bring outside guests into the academia. Oh, this is not looking good. <laughs> outside guests? How did you arrive at such a conclusion? Your groundless inference shames the Haravatat Darshan. What? what did you say? I'm the top student in Haravatat, and I earned third place at the last inter-Darshan debate. Don't look down on me! Jesus! That wasn't my intention. As your Haravatat senior, I just assumed that you possessed a greater aptitude for critical thinking. God damn! Look, based on what you already know, the purpose of my return and the reason they're here should be obvious. He looks so much. Is that so? Wait a moment. Let me think. Don't tell me the answer. Oh, Jesus the Christ. The sages search for you. A blonde-haired traveler. Outside guests. So, from the start, the sages weren't looking for you, but this traveler? And you were gone from the academia for so long because... Hey, shh. <laughs> yes, you've proven yourself as the top student in Haravatat. I surmise you've arrived at the correct conclusion. He's too smart, as dude. As I expected. Please, forgive me. I wasn't thinking clearly just now. Thank you for getting me back on track. You're welcome. It's nothing. We'll be on our way then. All right. Thank you for your contributions to the academia, scribe. Jesus Christ. Okay. Now let us be uh, moving along quickly, shall we? Uh, what the heck just happened now? What did he just guess? Ass nerd shit, Paimon, it's fine. I'm afraid I don't know either. <laughs> you have no idea? Mm-hmm. He convinced himself of whatever truth he came up with. <laughs> That is the so-called pride of a scholar. If someone questions their academic facility, they will instantly feign understanding to keep up appearances. Nowadays, That's the academia is rampant with this type of scholar. Their obvious farces of intellect only serve to highlight themselves as fools. I just noticed his kneecaps, or like the boot caps, sorry, uh, the same kind of design style thing as that new character that I forgot the name of, Farazan? Far 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 Farazan? Uh, I can't remember her name, but the, what do you call it? The, the, like, glass window style thing. Wow. Farazan, so there yeah. there are special ways to deal with smart people. We don't even need to make up our own excuses. Hmm. We shouldn't waste any more time. It would be problematic if we missed our window of opportunity. Let's go. Kind of does. It's, like, identical, pretty much. I, I need to see another, uh, cutscene of them, though. Or at least, like... Him outside of a cutscene. Maybe we'll see it now. Oh my god, I want to go up this elevator so bad, dude. I want to go up the elevator so bad. Is this the Academia's library? We've been here, Paimon. You have a terrible memory. Indeed. Known as the House of Dana, it is quite possibly the most extensive special collections library in Tavat. Uh, there are a lot of students going through here. Is it really okay just to waltz right in? Yeah. The Academia marches to a fast beat, especially since it's Nagarbaha Day. They're all occupied with their own matters. Just act natural. Now, hurry along. Paimon and act natural should never go in the same sentence together. Holy, dude. Hide for now and wait for an opportunity. No, I don't think we've been here in a story quest yet. I kind of just came in here. For a chest and box. What's this platform for? Dude. It's a lift that academia personnel use to access higher floors. Are we gonna take it then? The Grand Sage's office is up there somewhere. No, not right now. <clears throat> we can't guarantee that we won't run into the Great Sage. Let's step back and observe for now. I have a feeling that's where the boss is gonna be. I can't imagine another place where it'd be apart from on top of the pyramid, but then it would be locked Think behind the, Grand the world Sage class. Will exit from there? And after he does, we'd sneak past him? Oh, Paimon thinks that's really dangerous. Who knows? However, if we can confirm Azar's current location, our operation will be much safer if we... Allow me to offer you a hint. If you wish to know his location, look behind you. 
Metal Gear Solid alert sound. Busted. Uh, you're, you're, what's Grand Saint Jazar doing here? Oh, God. Kill him. Fucking hmm. burn him. Do not tell me you believed the Academia would not grow suspicious of you after such a prolonged absence, scribe. An eyewitness had informed me of your whereabouts, so I came to personally welcome you. Thanks, we'll be going now. Great Sage, I didn't expect you to care so much about me. I'm truly flattered. I'm sure, but compared to you, I am far more interested in these two unexpected guests. You are the Traveler and Paimon, correct? No, actually, uh, Joseph and Wendy. It's a pity that only now have I been afforded the opportunity to formally meet two of Sumeru's most esteemed guests. I do apologize for my lack of decorum. Why am I holding up my hand? Let's talk. It's not too late for you to stop. Also, Paimon does kind of look like a Wendy. I don't know. Excellent. You immediately initiated discussion instead of attempting to prepare some perfunctory excuse. You clearly understand the situation at hand, and have no intention of making a reckless stand. The foot traffic here renders this place unsuitable for discussion. Please, follow me to my office. Oh, Jesus. Jesse and James, Team Rocket? Nah, that's Yaimiko and fucking Ayato. Uh, oh, what is this? Place this place is crawling with guards. Whoa. There's no way out for us. All right then, traveler. What did you wish to discuss with me? Yo, this place pretty as Today hell, dude. Today is Niagarbaha Day, so I still have many responsibilities to attend to. There is little time for idle chit-chat before I detain you all. The Fatui have ulterior motives. Mm. You seem to know quite a bit about our endeavors. Mm -hmm. If that is so, then you should be praising our great work rather than using your trivial misgivings in a futile attempt to sway me. Shut up, idiot. I fucking hate you already. Trivial? Then tell me, what do the Fatui want from me? Uh, maybe benefits of some Anosis. <laughs> Worthless. Okay, Zhao. Those are all completely worthless. Benefits. Divine power. These materialistic words do nothing but debase our great work. Shut Creating up. a god. Yes. We are using human wisdom to create a god. You're so cringe. If humanity cannot attain omniscience and omnipotence, then we shall create a god to reveal them. This is the pinnacle of human wisdom. We shall regain a god's guidance at long last. No longer will we flounder in the interminable void of consciousness and knowledge. His eyes keep going Even really Erman's beady. Soul will be freed from its plight. You don't fucking know that. For idiot. our nation of scholars, this is the ultimate aspiration. No cost is too great to realize it. You say it's the pinnacle of human wisdom, but in the end, you're still relying on a god. You will never understand the rapture of having a god be born within your very hands. With your degree of knowledge, you cannot even comprehend such an emotion. Shh. Oh my god, this guy's actually cringe as all hell, dude. What about Leslaw Kusanali? It's not like Sumeru didn't already have a god of its own. Gods exist on a plane that far eclipses humanities. Lesser Lord Kusanali. What can she even do? God, I really hope she's the one that gets to fuck this guy up, dude. I really hope she just goes, <laughs> Picture fingers, say cheese, fucking bitch. Oh, I don't like him. Care for the people, fend off sandstorms, fabricate silly fairy tales. <laughs> These are but child's play for the academia. Does that make us equal to the gods? No. We are a people favored by Greater Lord Rukadevata. Though I may have personally not seen it, our forefathers bore witness to true wisdom. The ascension of the Lesser Lord has brought nothing but bewilderment to the scholars. They all ask, is that truly what true wisdom is supposed to look like? Yes. With that Maybe. in mind, it is better to keep her isolated in the sanctuary of Suristhana, so our academy will not become embroiled in turmoil. Justification. Do you really think that only the super smart or powerful should be able to call themselves gods? I don't know what I can say or do. The arrogance of scholars. As per your judgment, Grand Sage, 
they are indeed dangerous individuals. Not only are they acting against the academia, but their ideologies have the potential to lead scholars astray. Looks like there really was merit in my assignment. Oh, Haytham? Are you talking about us? Anyway, I've brought them to the academia as ordered, but it took some time and trouble. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Here's the investigation report you had requested. It's a summary of my time spent with the Traveler, an array of information about him ready for your perusal. <laughs> if this is actually happening, I want a 1,000 word essay from each person that told me I was stupid for saying Alhaitham was sussy. <laughs> I don't know if he actually is. It's weird at this point. It's weird at this point. We've been set up. I'll hide them. You. We're not gonna know till the end of the Archon quest. I feel like. Cause he told us to say a specific thing. Hmm. This this feels like it's still our plan. Excellent. Detailed contents with no errors. I would expect nothing less than an immaculate report from the scribe. Mm. As it is near Garba Day, I'll enter the information on you into the Akasha. Surely you know what that means. No, I'm clueless. We'll be monitored, just like Sino. <laughs> oh, Paimon sounds so pissed. With the Akasha's calculation prowess, all of your actions will be predicted with an accuracy of at least 98%. Furthermore, your data will be updated in real time whenever new information presents itself. To put it into words you can understand, Wherever you go, you will be walking under an invisible leash. This is Sumeru's greatest penalty for dishonest persons. When you say dishonest persons, does that also include your general Mahamatra? Are you not familiar with the concept that great responsibility begets an equally great suspicion? In any case, you are Sumeru's most concerning external variable. Locking you down will greatly decrease the chance of any undesirable outcomes coming to pass. Despicable, hmm. perhaps from your perspective, but I suppose you had mentally prepared yourselves for this, no? What do you mean? Your ploy was to sacrifice the Traveler here, was it not? Uh... Lord Azar, I know what you're trying to say, but I've been following your plan this entire time. Why are you doubting me at this juncture? Huh. Must I delineate your entire plan? Very well. I will spell things out. Uh-oh. First off, I received an eyewitness report that you were spotted with the Traveler at Caravan Rebot. However, you immediately departed to the desert <laughs> yeah, and escaped no. range. Judging by the time, you all likely encountered the truant General Mahamatra in the desert. Am I correct? He knows. He's aware, dude. <laughs> Maybe Paimon shouldn't have mentioned Sino just now. <laughs> yes, yeah, stupid. The Academia had not received correspondence Aww. from its scribe for a prolonged time. You were also in the company of the Traveler, a close associate of Lesser Lord Kusanali and General Mahamatra Sino, who had defected from the Academia. With their instigation, what was the probability that you would betray the Academia? Rationally speaking, 50%, 70%. What do you think? Oh, fucking hell, Azar, I'm pissed at you. Regardless, that's only a guess. The facts are that I've brought the Traveler right before you, and I gave you my report. Oh, I don't like this. Indeed, your boldness deserves praise. To think that despite status as an outlander, the Traveler is still willing to sacrifice for the sake of your plan. If I'm correct, you have a contingency plan to save oh, Lesser Lord Kusanali and he knows everything. our great work. Sneak into the Academia on Nia Garbaha Day using Alhatham's status as the scribe. For there is a good chance that an opportunity to save the Lesser Lord will arise. Should your intentions be discovered, Alhatham will turn traitor and sacrifice the Traveler, thus proving his innocence. He can then stay inside the Academia and continue searching for a way to proceed forward. Oh God! As for Sino, According to the Akasha's calculations, he will soon return to the Academia and confront me in person. I suppose this is also a part of your plan? Mm, 
All the prediction is just fucking wrong, dumbass. <laughs> You'll see me as a traitor regardless of what I say, no? Even if you impugn me, it would have little effect on you all. You misunderstand. Losing our scribe would irreparably damage the Academia's regular operations and the development of Sumeru's future academic systems. Mm. However, under the current circumstances, even that is trivial compared to what we stand to gain from our great work. You said that I betrayed the Academia, but you, Azar, you've betrayed all of Sumeru, betrayed its Archon. That's big words. Uh, so flight is turned to fight at long last. Shit. Guards! Oh. You gonna fight? Oh shit. Wait, what is he doing? Oh no. Oh shit. What? Well, what do we have here? So you stole that divine knowledge capsule. Traitor. You traitor! <laughs> Even the most rational scholar will yearn for the power of a god in a moment of desperation. Aren't you doing the exact same thing as me, Althatham? Unfortunately for you, no god will lend you their power. Azar! Fuck him up! Kill him! Wait, where did we go? He has gone completely insane. Shut up! Oh, that's gonna really fucking hurt. Take him to the Matra and exile him to Aru village. That's gonna really then hurt, dude. Find someone to take these two to the confinement room. I'll deal with them later. Confinement? Wait, but, 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 but. Grand Sage, we've finished all required preparations for Nyagarbaha Day. We may begin to enter the capsules now. Excellent. You may begin. Why did you steal the fucking divine knowledge card? Why did you use it? You saucy motherfucker. What did he do? Is it fake? Is it fake? What the f- I don't understand, but I guess I'm gonna soon. Why am I shut the fuck up? I'm trying to think. I swear to God, Paimon, shut the fuck up! <laughs> That's enough, Paimon. I don't think the guards can hear us anymore. Away there. That was all part of the plan? Paimon's acting just now. Great, huh? That was all part of the plan. Marvelous. Yeah, that was actually great acting, Paimon. Great. Good to know. Uh, Everything's going according to plan so far. We made it into confinement, and all Haytham's probably done with his part too. Damn. What a solid plan. We can relax for the time being. We even managed to trick Grand Sage Azar. All Haytham sure knows how to cook up a plan. Yo, all Haytham is smart, dude. What are we dude. doing next? Paimon has trouble remembering things when she's worked up. Uh, let's review what we discussed during our strategy meeting. Oh, hell yeah. Right, right. Paimon thinks it went something like this. Smile. Apart from that, we still have yet another goal in the first stage of our operation, which is to send the traveler to the confinement room. What? Why do we want to get him locked up on purpose? He's always hmm. been the person the sages are most afraid of, as well as the greatest obstacle to their successful implementation of their plan. God damn. They are very aware of the risk he poses to them. Once the traveler is imprisoned, the sages will likely think that everything is under control. True. And with their guard down, the next phase of our plan will have a much higher chance of success. So, how, but I want to know how he did the 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 red. I can already see the pompous looks on their faces. Oh, that's a super tricky plan, but Paimon still thinks it's not really worth it. That isn't the only reason, of course. He has a more important task once he's in confinement. According to the Academia scholars in Rahman's custody, Lesser Lord Kusanali has sealed off her consciousness in the Akasha ever Ooh, since she was captured by the Doctor. Clever. That way, they can't pry any more information from her. 
Even if we break into the sanctuary of Suristhana, it will take time to awaken Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness. We need to do that in advance. Oh, I guess he did so say he adjusted it. I did think that's what he meant, okay, though. Totally worth getting thrown and jailed for. I know they mentioned uh, modifying the Akashas, but I didn't realize they could modify it to literally get a corruption effect. That seems fucking ridiculous. Like, I don't know. That just seems odd. The confinement room is inside the academia, close to the sanctuary of Suristhana. It's a completely enclosed space, and you won't be receiving any visitors. Hmm. I'll work with Raman scholars to make some modifications to your Akasha terminal. Once you're in, get as close as you can to Lesser Lord Kusanali and try to connect to her consciousness. Oh, Jesus. However, as for whether she'll actually wake up, that will depend on our luck. <sighs> oh, God, okay. Terminal today. It's the one that I'll hate them modified. Oh, yeah. I thought they'd take our Akasha terminals when they'd like to sub in here. Hmm. Were they being careless? Uh, that wasn't because of the carelessness, but because of their arrogance. They think the Akasha is completely under their control. All right. So what now? Uh, we first need to find a place with the best signal in this room. Then we try connect with Nahida. Sounds easy enough. We can finally talk with Nahida after all this time. Let's do it. Let's do it! Oh my... There's a light flashing on your Akasha terminal. It's almost like... <gasps> the faster it blinks, the better the signal! I really wish it was located somewhere different and not on the side of my head, so I have to run sideways the whole time. Uh, but I guess it is what it is. Oh! What the hell? Huh? Is this the right spot? Are you getting anything? Wait, that was the... I didn't even see it improving the flash. I just saw the marker on the ground. <laughs> Giga chat, dude. Let's go. It's fate, but I have a signal. Prepare to connect with her consciousness now. Please work. <laughs> I don't know. I'm lucky, chat. I won the 50-50. <laughs> what? Is this a realm of consciousness? What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? Is she there? Oh, <gasps> she is! Nahida's not moving. She really has sealed off her consciousness. I need to think of a way to wake her up. Splash water in her face. Oh god, dude. Oh, that's a barrier. Shit. What is this? It looks like some sort of barrier. If Nahida is uh, using this barrier to isolate her consciousness from the outside world... Nahida! <gasps> voice! Hey, Nahida! <gasps> voice again? Dang it, she isn't reacting. Seems like she can't sense me. Why can't we just say this out loud as well? Hmm. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what, what does this mean, dude? <sighs> when did it first start? What? Oh, right. It started from the moment I was born. What? I want to become a worthy Archon. So I've kept studying. Kept listening to my people and their hearts. Kept looking for a way to save Ermin Soul. So I can catch up. Catch up to Greater Lord Rukitavata. But I'm stuck in the Sanctuary of Surastana. The sages are creating a god to replace me. And I'm forced to lock my consciousness in this boundless darkness. Oh man, I actually feel so bad for her, dude. Nikita! <sighs> what now? Is there really nothing I can do? But she's right here in front of me. I can't just give up like this. I've already left her behind once when the doctor first appeared. I can't do that again. Nikita! Animal? Crop. That's animal. Hydro? What is that? That's animal, I think. It's so quiet here. Now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever actually listened to my own inner voice. Do Archons have them? I think everyone has them. Should Archons have them? I don't know! 
have I been doing the right thing? I don't know. Am I really not needed? No, you are. How do I really feel about all of this? I don't know. It's so quiet here. Since you're the god of wisdom. Hmm? You've known the answers to all these questions since the very beginning, haven't you? Who are you? Whose voice is that? It sounds familiar. What? That's either... No. It didn't sound like her from the... from the... Second Archon. Is that Ruka Devata? You're right, though. I won't... I won't ignore my own voice anymore. It doesn't sound like Dunyazard. Damn, that's really cool. Giga Chad Ether. Nahida! Is this actually gonna work, dude? Windblade! Nahida? It worked! Did you wake me up? <sighs> Thank you. Why are you here? Because we're going to Skyrim. We're here to rescue you. Are you alright? I'm fine. It's just... Voice. When I think of everything that's happened to me, I feel really angry now. Time to take some really fucking angry photos of that Grand Sage, I'm just saying, you know? <laughs> you should have been angry ages ago. Agreed. Wow. Oh, let him speak more! It's always so good when he does, and it would still be so good if he had a thousand voice lines. Hello? Huh? Oh, you're back! How's everything? Uh, we're done here. Nahida is awake. That's wonderful news! Great! We weren't locked up for nothing! Mm-hmm. When you went to wake up Nahida, Paimon was listening for any sounds outside. You were out for a long time. There are fewer and fewer scholars going about now. You think everyone's done with their Nyog Garba day stuff? Uh, I guess they finished entering all the knowledge capsules. Yep, so that means our next act is Nilo's performance! Again? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, not a dance performance, maybe. Or maybe it is. Hmm. Nilu, are you sure about this? You're taking such a great risk for them. I'm sure, and I'm going. You know that I don't like to pass up any opportunity to dance. Oh, it is another this dance. This one is especially important. <sighs> All right. You seem to have a lot of trust in them, so I won't say more on the subject. But if anything happens, the few of us here may not be able to help you. Oh God, Zubaya! Don't worry. They've been through worse. Everything's going to be fine. All right. You know, if you really do get arrested, we'll do everything we can to get you back. Be careful, even if it's only for our sakes. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Zubair. I love us. So very kind. What is this gonna be? This can't just be like an orderly run of the mill debt. I'm Neelu. Can I just leave and always play as Neelu now? This isn't the way to the academia. Better stick to the plan. Nope. Fuck the plan. <gasps> fuck. That did not just stop me all the way back here, right? Story review. Holy fuck, I was about to say, dude. Neelu. Are Ooh! you sure about this? Oh god, I tried fucking it with the game and the game fucked with me, dude. I mean, it was your own fault. I I agree. Neither. But it would have still been shit if they made me do it all over. Nervous? Definitely more than usual. But it's because I'm worried I won't dance well enough. It's okay. Just focus on your performance. We'll take care of everything else. <laughs> mm. You sure know how to talk. Taking all the credit, even though we came here together to help out. Oh, God. Well, thank you both. I'll have to treat you to a meal after all this ends. I really, really <laughs> appreciate all of your help. Aww. Ooh, that sounds great. Huh. How can we say no to that? All right, 
Let's get back to business. Nilu, we'll be here to keep people from going to the Academia so they don't interrupt your performance. I was planning on telling them something like, the Academia's been conducting a weird experiment, and some of their test subjects escaped. It's really dangerous there, so stay away. Yeah, that oh, really sells you it. couldn't think of anything better? Oh, oh well. It really sells it. Does it does sound like something the Academia <clears throat> would do. Jesus. <laughs> I think it sounds great. I'm counting on you guys. Don't worry. It'll be a piece of cake. Cheesecake. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh god, dude. I hope this... I'm curious about what this dance is going to be be to do with the plan, but I trust that it is going to be a lot to do with the plan, because... Hey, Nilu. Sorry, it's Usually great is. to see you, but I'm really busy right now. Our bait people away with Yalda Candy's plan is working beautifully. <laughs> do you want some candy? Uh. We have more than we can give out. Yeah, do Yeah, it. thank you so much for doing all of this. And even dressed up as the Knight of Flowers, no less. I'll pass on the candy, though. I cut back on sweets in the period leading up to a performance, and I'm about to start one. Hmm. <laughs> you have a point. The stage is cleared and everything's ready, so you can start your performance at any time. Yeah, thanks to you. I'm really grateful. All right, time to hit the stage. Let's do it. You're welcome. The honor's all mine, since I'll have such a great view of the show. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh, okay. <sighs> this feels more sinister, and I don't... I think it's because it's in front of the academia. seen a performance like this this is incredible yeah okay but i heard that public performances like these have been banned i can't believe she's doing this here grand sage there's some commotion outside interesting <laughs> how uninteresting issue the new prohibition act from the akasha to the guards they'll know what to do uh, do you think we should, like, stop her? Let's just watch for a little bit longer. Sam! Huh? What the fuck? Let's look who's at only escape for this actuary. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay, interesting. I'm proud of you. Hmm. Okay. What the hell? Huh? Did you hear that? It sounds like a lot of guards just ran by. I'm curious. So, but maybe it'll tell us in a sec. But I'm. I'm. Maybe it was again just to distract the guards for a short while. But I'm confused about the dance because. I mean, the guards were going to be running anyway, because Neely wasn't anything to do with Kusanali escaping. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. We'll see. Certainly sounds like it. Uh, it sounds like Neely completed a task. Yeah. Yep, okay. Yep. It's great that everything seems to be going well. Come to think of it, when did all hate them replace the knowledge capsule that was about to be entered into the Akasha? Son of a bitch. When he pretended that he had been corrupted, do you remember when he rushed towards the Grand Sage? Oh, mm. so that's when he did it. Paimon was too nervous Dude, to notice. Dude, I was going to say as well, I was actually going to say at this point, when he knocked over the, the things, I was going to say, I bet that was on purpose, but I thought it was not obvious enough. I thought it was way too far out there. Jesus Christ, I should have said it. Up, didn't all Haytham also yoink the divine knowledge capsule from that mercenary leader in Port Ormos when yes, everyone else he was did. distracted? Because he could have easily fucked him up if he wanted to. Oh, it's a time-tested 
trick of his. He can maintain his composure when things get chaotic. That's why he can pull off this kind of thing. <sighs> why are we complimenting him? Yeah, he's smart and all, but he still makes Paimon's blood boil. Same. <sighs> Let's review our plan for this stage again. It's not like we have anything else to do right now anyway, and it'll help us feel more confident. Yes. Paimon remembers that Milo's task was okay, supposed to here go, we go a bit like this. Like I said, I have a lot of faith that it's going to teach us because it has with the other ones, and I'm really interested to see what Nilu's dance was. Now that Lesser did. Lord Kusanali's consciousness has been forcefully sealed, the core figures of the Academia and their guards have started to wear their Akasha terminals again. Oh, okay. With the Doctor's technological support, they think they have nothing to fear. How despicable of them to rely on such a person. But this is also our chance. I was originally asked to draft the knowledge capsule for the Artistic Performances Prohibition Act when I was still at the Academia. Okay. It should be on the Grand Sage's desk right now, and will be entered into the Akasha during the next Niagarbaha day. Are they really going to stop all artistic performances? That's horrible! I'll they, make they an were identical actually gonna knowledge do it? capsule, but this time, I'll smuggle some misleading information into it. Oh? We only need to find an opportunity to switch the capsules. Once it's been entered into the Akasha on Yagarbaha Day, if someone were to be seen performing in public, the sages would definitely use that opportunity to announce the ban. And so, the misleading information will be disseminated amongst the guards. Yes, indeed. Sure sounds complicated. But it seems like if everything goes well, we'll be able to get rid of all the guards in the academia without any effort. That's pretty clever, getting right into their heads. I just have one question. Even if we manage to get the misleading info out to the guards, how can we be sure that they'll believe it? People who are used to relying on the Akasha become less inquisitive, and their ability to distinguish truth from misinformation is significantly reduced. They will view everything the Akasha releases to them as the unequivocal truth. The Akasha will turn humans into machines. I've seen it happen many times. Yikes. Uh... Good thing I didn't wear it for long when I was working in Sumeru City. At first, I thought it was a good thing, too. I think everybody did. By the way, this plan still requires a performer, right? Do you have someone in mind? Nilu of Zubair Theater. I know her really well. We can trust her. I'm kind of hesitant to ask her to participate in a dangerous plan like this, but we can ask her in person. All right. After the guards in the academia are gone, uh -huh. then it'll be time for me and my stowaway brothers to shine. Wait, I'm still confused though. Okay, maybe I'm. I think I'm missing something big here. <laughs> here they come. Did you see that, Raman? They came out from the Academia in droves. Hell yeah. Whistle, whistle. After laying low in the city for so long, this is the moment we've been waiting for. My brothers have already sprung into action. <laughs> we couldn't do anything to them inside their coop. But outside the Academia, this is our hunting ground. Hell yeah, it is. A lioness like you, the prey sure won't be able to run far. We still need to eliminate the guards as soon as possible. If we give the sages enough time to realize what's happening, the plan's doomed. Oh, of course. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, she danced because that then uh, Al Haytham said that's a, pretty much a guaranteed way for them to issue the ban, which was the misleading info. Okay, never mind. Yeah. I get it now. All they've done is to sit on their cushy salaries and twiddle their thumbs all day while we fought and struggled every day in the desert. That was the last part the of the puzzle. The only advantage they might have Clicked. is numbers. Speaking of which, most of the guards who report directly to the Six Sages belong to the Corps of Thirty, but they have a completely different reputation. Following those blasted Sages every whim, throwing away all the principles of being a mercenary, as someone in the same profession, I'm obligated to teach him a good lesson today. Hmm. Indeed, the trap has been set. All we need to do is lead them there. All right, let's each take a road and herd those scattered guards back into one place. Make sure to attract their attention. Isak will be the key. You gave such Isak. an important task to that child. Will he be okay? It'll be fine. Isak was so determined to help, so let's put our faith in him. Besides, even if he's caught, the guards would be too scared to do anything to him. 
They've never seen Lesser Lord Kusanali in person, after all. You've got a point. Anyway, I think I see them coming. Let's head out. Good luck. Hmm, okay. God, I'm fucking nervous. <sighs> Not Isaac again? Don't be mean! Stop me mean to Isaac! <laughs> No, 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 they didn't, did <laughs> Three star Nida. <laughs> Stop, Nida from Wish. Stop it. Kusanali at home. <laughs> Y'all are so rude, dude. There's no way. Walmart Nahida. NPCification of Nahida. Nahida cosplay when? I would never do it this much justice. Never. Hey. Do you remember what you need to do, Isa? My god. When the guards get here, you'll pretend to be Lesser Lord Kusanali and run away from them. Are you really gonna believe oh, that? Yeah, I remember. Of course I do. I'm just a, a little nervous. Yeah, I would be too. <laughs> Relax. Don't think about getting caught. Even if that happens, we won't leave you behind. You only need to think about getting the guards' attention and leading them to the Grand Bazaar. Leave the rest to us. Oh god. Okay. Got it. I'm here to pay back Lesser Lord Kusanali for helping Grandpa. I won't get cold feet. Hey, they're here. I can see the academia oh, guards. God. Fuck, here we All go. Right, it's time, Isak. Take a deep breath and go. You can do this. Run. Run. Wait. What? Why is it looking like I'm playing as... What the fuck? What what is this, dude? What? Why is there a guard over there? Did he already run ahead of me? That was weird. This is different from our plan, but there's no time. I need to make a choice. Behind the house. What is this? This feels so weird. Wait, is this the? This music sounds like the. Uh... Shit. What was it called? Uh, the 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 wind trace music. Yeah. Let's have a look behind the house. Are you fucking kidding me? You what should I do next? Hi, there was a left. <laughs> Looks like nothing's here. A wasted time. Yeah, idiot. Stupid dumbass. I should have hidden the fucking field. Uh, luckily, he didn't check behind the tree. What should I do next? Return to the position behind the house. Obviously, it's the only option. The guard looks alert. What should I do next? Keep waiting. Doesn't seem like anything unusual is around here. Nope. Nope, nothing. Looks like the guard finally left. I need to go. Run! Run like the wet bullseye! I mean Nahida, I mean Isak, I mean Nahisak! Where you going? <laughs> Why are you running like this? Hey! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Mr. Lord Kusanali is over there! Oh fuck! Stop! Oh shit, dude. What? Lesser Lord Kusanali? <laughs> How did I not notice that? Because she was hiding behind a house. They found me! This is bad. Where should I go? I don't know, it's supposed to city center. Although Isak managed to avoid arrest, the mission failed. I forgot where I was supposed to be going. Hey! Lesser Lord Kusanali is over there! <laughs> where am I supposed Stop. to be going? <laughs> I forgot. The stupid what? thinks to remember this Lord goddamn Kusanali. quest, dude. How did I not notice that? <laughs> the bazaar. Uh, they found me. This... <laughs> dude, there's the so much to remember. The to be Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped into the Grand Bazaar. Assemble and arrest her. Run! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm trying to remember all the plans that everything did. I'm trying to remember everything. It's so hard. Where did she go? How did she disappear? Did we lose her? Hurry up and find her. Hey. I didn't get arrested. Why is your team here? Didn't we say to split up our search? Hurry, hurry. <sighs> this place is... Why are you all here? Yeah, isn't it one heck of a coincidence? Everybody's here. What on earth is going on? I suppose that's all of you. Oh no. Who are you? Did you set us up? Oh what are you planning? no. Dude, the Aramites are gonna take over Subaru. Phew. That was rough. I almost got caught. Yeah, almost. Little brat. So you're not actually Lesser Lord Kusanami. What gave it away? Who exactly are you all? Aramites from the desert? Just some colleagues. Think oh. of this as a business competition or a personal grudge. 
After stepping into our trap, stop thinking of yourselves as hunters. Behave like the prey you are. Hell yeah. Oh, the Arabites. Oh, the whole squad's pulling up now, dude. We're all here. Fuck them up. An ambush? How's that possible? This is Sumeru City, but mercenaries from the desert somehow ambushed us! You've spent all your time hiding away in the Academia. This place has long since become our hunting ground. Brace yourselves! Oh, God. Yo, let me fight with Dea for the first time. Imagine. Mom's in chat. Hello, Mama Online. Oh. Oh. Hmm. This is odd. The Academia has quieted down after the conclusion of the Neagarba Day ceremonies. But it's much quieter than usual. Where are the guards? Why have I not seen a single one? Because you've been bamboozled. Guards! guards! <laughs> Grand Sage, how may I be of assistance? I called for the guards. Why did you come? Uh, my, my apologies, Grand Sage. <laughs> right now, all Academia guards have entered oh, the city God. to perform the ordered arrest. I thought you knew. Nope. Arrest? Who is there to arrest? I have an ominous feeling. Good. Uh, arrest Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Is that not what the order was? Lesser Lord Kusanali? <laughs> you mean she has disappeared? <laughs> yes. Burn the I sages. Dare make up something like that. Burn them all. Right now, everyone is in a panic, and many are saying that that Lesser Lord Kusanali will take revenge on us. What happened? Just what is going on? Lesser Lord Kusanali somehow escaped. Was it all Haytham and his party that freed her? Yeah. It's impossible. The Academia is heavily guarded today, and any order to release Lesser Lord Kusanali would be strictly confidential. Besides, <laughs> all Haytham and the Traveler are already in our hands. That's what you think. What manner of trickery did they employ? How could Lesser Lord Kusanali disappear into thin air? Oh, I don't know. Disappear? <gasps> Wait. <gasps> How was the arrest order distributed to the guards? Nah. It was issued by the Akasha earlier today. <laughs> Only you have the authority to send messages like that. He's so realizing. I thought it was your order. He's realizing. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely wasn't, dude. He's starting to understand now that he is uh, a little bit fucked. <sighs> ah, here. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary of Surasthana. Go to the city and arrest the escapee immediately. Yeah. The Akasha indeed contains this information, and it clearly appeared in my mind. How did they bypass my permissions to issue this kind of message? Because you were dumb, dumb. about the traveler that Alhatham submitted? Oh, maybe. No. I specifically checked that knowledge capsule before entering it into the Akasha. Could that have been a red herring? Yes. Well... Yes, it was. I figure it out now, it won't make any difference. The important thing now is to confirm Lesser Lord Kusanali's status. Alive and well, thankfully, Have unlike you, you soon. the sanctuary of Surasthana to confirm that Lesser Lord Kusanali has indeed escaped? Confirm? N no, I, I haven't. Uh-oh. It, it may be a bit offensive to say this, but Grand Sage, what you're saying doesn't make any sense. <sighs> How can the information in the Akasha be inaccurate? What the Akasha decrees is fact. That is common knowledge to all of us. Oh, you poor, poor soul, if you fucking believe that. If we have to confirm the information and knowledge from the Akasha ourselves, then how is that any different from us learning that information ourselves? It's not. Wouldn't Greater Lord Rukadavata's legacy lose its meaning that way? Are you just realizing? <laughs> in the beginning, it was I who asked you to believe in the Akasha, to believe in the legacy left by Greater Lord Rukadavata. Are you trying to use my words against me? Yes. N no, Grand Sage. No, you are. I'm merely confused because I believe in you. I never meant to refute you. Oh, use your fucking three little brain cells and rub them together. And I'm not talking about the ones that were forcibly put there with knowledge capsules. The ones that you are born with, motherfucker. And just grow up here and speak up. <laughs> Stay here and see if there are any suspicious people around. I'll go to the sanctuary of Surasthana on my own. Azar is the suspicious fucking person. <laughs> yes, Grand Sage. Oh my god, dude. This guy's annoying me. Udar, this guy's annoying me, dude.
He's too much of a kiss ass. Grand Sage has arrived at the Sanctuary of Surasthana alone. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the Sanctuary of Surasthana. Go to the city and arrest the escapee immediately. <sighs> How can that be? Just stop thinking about it. Stop. There must be a trick of theirs. As long as I personally can find um, it. This music, dude. Oh, it's the... Ah! <gasps> impossible. That's impossible. There must be something wrong with my eyes. Get fucked. <sighs> Wait, what? What a comical sight is our. Oh! <gasps> so oh. Once the Akasha has put certain thoughts into your head, even the Grand Sage can no longer see what's right in front of him. Oh, he's actually losing you it. You all can only see the world in your mind. Kill him. The one you think you know. Zap him, shogun precisely him. precisely because of this, you disregarded Lesser Lord Kusanali's existence. Give her the Signora treatment. She has been a wise and worthy Archon. Sino, have you been waiting for a chance like this? Azar, I am not gonna lie. I predicted that you would return to the Academia to confront me, but I didn't expect it to turn out like this. I was careless. Motherfucker. I think everybody has been waiting for a time like this. You underestimate how much people want you gone. No, you were blinded. Your faults stem from your reliance on the Akasha. You're still the same as always. I truly did not expect a proud person like you to cooperate with all Haytham and the Traveler. People change, Azar. Admit it. The Akasha can't predict my actions anymore. True. <laughs> then tell me, what have you found during your investigation? That you're a little You want to buy a little bitch. This is the Sanctuary of Surasthana. Under your own regulations, even Academia staff are forbidden to come here. No one will come to save you. As for the investigation, I've at least confirmed that you are guilty of insurgency against the Archon. A serious crime. Oh, damn. So what? Did you do all of this so I would plead guilty in front of you, General Mahamatra? Say it, pussy. No. I want you to plead guilty in front of the Archon herself. <laughs> you once said that I had no standing to judge you. So now, how about judgment in the name of a god? God, you are fucking cool. Please give us a cutscene. Give us a cutscene. I, I wanted to see that in a cutscene, dude. We have to wait. Paimon how things are going out there. I want to know. Paimon hasn't heard any sounds outside for a while. Hopefully something bad didn't happen. Don't think like that. We must trust our friends. Yeah, but aren't you scared that we might be locked up in here for the rest of our lives? Paimon, you can... Uh, hear me out here. Paimon can go into this weird fucking pocket realm that we don't even know what it is and reappear again. Can't, wouldn't she just be able to go whoom, whoom, on the opposite side of the fucking bars? She, she dumb dumb for real, dude. Sometimes. <sighs> Thinking about it, at least Paimon has you. We could still chat like this. When Paimon True. thinks of Nahida being imprisoned alone in the sanctuary of Surasthana, Paimon can't help but feel sorry for her. Oh! Well, there goes that. <laughs> Here comes your savior. Let's go, dude. Dia! Paimon just knew you would come to rescue us. And Dia's belly button. Uh, you were scared out of your wits just a moment ago. You two really <laughs> owe me some big thanks. I had to search through who knows how many guards to find the key here. It felt even more tiring than whacking them. Oh, God. I'm exhausted. I'm sorry. Thanks a lot. Need Paimon to rub your shoulders? Hey, don't take my job. Hello? Uh, no, no, that's... Uh, I'll pass. <laughs> what are you afraid of? Oh, are you ticklish? Oh. Uh, now isn't the time to talk about being ticklish. How this going outside? How's Nahida? Are you ticklish? <laughs> Things in the city and on Sino's side are both going well. The guards that stormed out of the academia are all taken care of. The Corps of 30 Ooh. is in charge of the city's defenses, but we already talked to Asvand. They've been fed up with the sages bossing them around. 
I only just realized, you know that, you know, uh, Dottore's hair, how he's got that little shaved slit in the side? I didn't realize Dea De had the same thing. Just as stands out more because it's on blue hair with him, eye. I guess. Hmm, interesting. That's She's got the exact same style. have been super great friends with them for a long time. So, how's Sino doing? The Grand Sage is in his custody. Even I know how terrible it is to fall into Sino's hands, <laughs> so he probably does too. Sino forced him to release Lesser Lord Kusanali. He has no choice but to obey. So, hurry to the Sanctuary of Suristhana. Assuming nothing weird happened, we should have already rescued our Archon. Oh, hell yeah. That all sounds amazing. We managed to rescue her. Honestly, I didn't expect our ragtag bunch to do this well. We just came together last minute to save the Archon, you know? All right, you two better go. I still have to clean up some messes in the city. Damn it, it's not showing see the side around. now. You see it there? See it? You see the little the side slit in the hair chat? Pog. Same little uh, mark thing there as, as the Doctor. And Dottori. Oh god, here we go. Come on. She's free! Nahida is a free elf! Master gave Nahida a sock! Nahida! Yes! <laughs> God! So they say it's nice to meet you? No. This is the first time we've met in real life. Before, we've only met in dreams, consciousness, or when I was in someone else's body. Oh shit, I just realized that. Yeah, this is the first time we actually meet? What Thank the fuck? Thank you so much for coming to rescue me, but I also need to apologize. Why? During this time, I did some self-reflection. My sense of inferiority and yielding to the academia led to all of this and created so much trouble for you all. Ah, don't worry about it. You've also helped us a lot. You deserve to be freed. Exactly! We're here because you're a good Archon and one of our friends! Best Archon. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Thanks, you two. <sighs> Amazing. Oh. So this is how it feels to walk out of that cage with my own body. It's like I just had an endlessly long dream. I can't even tell if I just woke up or was only now born into this world. My concept of self has become so clear. Listen to the music. It's the same music. It's the R&R &R music. I heard it last time I was in here, like three minutes ago. <laughs> I love it. But now doesn't seem to be the time to indulge in this feeling. The Academia's God Creation Plan, Saving Ermin Soul. Um, this is really embarrassing. You all just rescued an Archon, and now she needs her help to save her country, and even the entire world. It's okay. With you here, Paimon's sure that everything will work out. There's one more thing. What is it? For all the things the Academia did to me, and for all the folly it committed in the name of wisdom. As their Archon, I will make them pay. Oh god. She gonna make them uh, pay, dude. Wow! That's the spirit! You're finally standing up for yourself and not letting people walk all over you! <laughs> I understand now. To be a better Archon, I first need to better myself. If you haven't even figured out how to be a caterpillar, how can you be a butterfly? Okay, fair chat. If it's the King Deshret music, fine. My point was I've heard it like four times before already, so it's it's not like it's new music, but I do love the music. Um, this is knowledge that only you yourself could have discovered. Yes, true. Hmm, that reminds me. I wonder how far along the Academia is with their God creation plan. I assume we very need far. To hurry and prevent the birth of that false god. Well, that ain't gonna I happen. I need to make some preparations. Since I'm now free, I can establish a direct link to the Akasha and control it. First things first, I need to remove the restrictions that the doctor put on me in the Akasha. Uh... After that, I'll make some adjustments and revoke the sage's permissions. The Akasha will then be like how it originally was, only operable by the Archon. After all, the Academia betrayed Greater Lord Rukadovata's trust. This might take some time. In the meantime, you should also work on your own preparations. If we don't stop mm. the God creation plan in time, we'll be in for a tough fight. God damn, okay. 
This is gonna be very interesting, dude. This is gonna be very fucking interesting. Prepare for a fight. Uh, the well, longest doing, day? Take a walk around. After all, we missed out on a lot of stuff when we were locked up. The longest day? Did they forget about uh, Archon Quest number two of Sumeru by any chance? Anyway, I'm looking for Grand Sage Azar. Have you seen him? Dead. The more I think about it, the more I believe there's something fishy about Alhatham's return. I need to let the Grand Sage know somehow. You're finally starting to put two and two together. Huh? Don't just fucking tell him, dumbass. Paimon, what the fuck? Don't tell him he's right, he's wrong, he's gonna die. <gasps> God damn it. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so mad. How's it going, Nahida? I'm done with the parts that needed my involvement to complete. Although it's my first time working with the Akasha like this, its internal structure and operation procedures are easy for me to understand. Greater Lord Rukadavata's design is truly brilliant. Oh, also, this is for you. What is this, huh? dude? Okay. What's this little floaty thingy? Oh, it's, it's so cool looking, though. It's a small device I put together just now. You can think of it as an upgraded Akasha terminal. Who? You may not need it right now, but it should be helpful in certain situations. Okay, dude. <laughs> Wait! This thing has the same characteristics as Paimon! <laughs> We're both small things that float! Is that it? Is that all that characterizes you? To make Paimon special got copied! When Paimon appears with the Traveler from now on, people will remember Paimon because he isn't unique anymore! I mean, you always look like the unknown god, to be fair. I'm just saying. It looks completely different from you. <laughs> it's alright, Paimon. It can't replace you. It's only a flying device, but you're the Traveler's irreplaceable friend. <laughs> beep, Construct, beep. <sighs> you're so good at comforting people, Nahida. If only the Traveler was as smart as you. Hey, get back in your fucking pocket dimension. Hmm? I was simply telling you what I feel to be the truth. I wasn't trying to comfort you. Nahida, mm. you're a natural at this. What you just said made Paimon even happier. By the way, there's something I need to confess. What? Even though I'm the Archon and in control of myself again, I'm not very good at fighting. It's not what your fucking test trial showed. I'm just going to put that out there. You may have heard that an Archon's power is derived from their people's faith. However... I'm not as well loved as Greater Lord Ruka Devata. If we get into a situation where combat is our only option, I'll have to count on you and I'll do my best to provide support. It's fine, just keep doing your camera fingers and, and hope for the best and I'm sure it'll work. Uh, fighting is my forte. I'm glad I can rely on you. Yes. Hmm, so the God of Wisdom isn't good at fighting? That actually sounds about right. <laughs> I do like Paimon's snarky remarks. Now, honestly, since Technori's quest, I think, she sounds uh, natural when she's talking. Yeah, that sounds about right. Instead of like, that sounds about right. Like, it sounds like I'd say it in real life, you know? I've located where the false god is. Good voice acting. Time is of the essence, so let's skip to it. Hmm. Hmm. Agreed, yeah, it's pretty good. Creating a god. Yes, we are using human wisdom to create a god. Shut up, Azar. We don't need Zhongli, dude. We don't need him. We don't need him. It's fine. We gotta go with the team that we said. Oh, God. Is this really the way we need to go? Wow. Who would have thought there'd be a place like this hidden right slap bang in the middle of the city? The sages wanted to realize their god creation plan without being discovered. The safest and most convenient way would be to build within the academia itself. Hmm, that's true. They were already hiding one god, so why not two? Fair? Judging from the structure here, the project is a huge undertaking. The sages really saw the god creation plan as their ultimate goal. Oh. This place doesn't look like it could have been constructed by the Academia alone. No, it doesn't. It looks like it was constructed by the Fatui as well. And the reason I say that is because this place reminds me of the Child Domain. The Child Story Quest Domain. The Fatui under the Doctor sure didn't hold back. They provided a lot of technological support. Yep. 
Uh, it's to help one of their own harbingers become a god after all. Yeah, or else they wouldn't have been that generous. Is that it though? I've always felt that this doctor is different from the Academia Sages. He doesn't seem to share their sense of urgency. Yeah, it's because he's got like 25 clones running around doing work. He's not in urgency. He's, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> Instead of being interested in the end product, it's like he's enjoying the experimental process. Hmm. Hmm. The Fatui Harbingers are all such weirdos. <laughs> so, the doctor being weird is actually normal. Actually true, dude. So, this Fatui that they're trying to turn into a god... Is called the Balladeer? Yes. We had previously come into contact with his consciousness. He harbors particularly strong obsessions. One is the desire for a gnosis, since he was created to be the vessel for one. Oh, the God. other obsession is probably related to his past. I can't quite explain it. Okay. Paimon knows that he was a prototype puppet for the Raiden Chilgum before he became a Fatui Harbinger. That's why he wants a Gnosis so badly. There's no way he'd willingly be a test subject. Now with that temper and ego of his. It sounds like you know the Balladeer quite well. We've had a few encounters, but none of them were pleasant. Actually, technically I've only had two. I see. Tell me more about him and One what in he's person. Like. The more we know now, the better we can plan for and react to any future situation. That's a fair point. You tell Nahida everything you know about the Balladeer. Ah, I see. How fascinating. I'm so nervous. All right, time to go. Let's get through here and meet him in person. I'm so nervous, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, dude. This place reminds me hella of the uh, child Try domain. One with the farts. Let's nip that in the butt. One with the farts. Uh, no, I'd like to go down. Damn it, dude. Okay, we're going up. Because the game well, wants us to. We can climb up these pipes. Yeah. Oh, I like that. They're adding little climbing obstacles inside domain. Mmm. Interesting. I do actually like that a lot. Pattern on the ground seems all messed up. Let's go around and see if there's a way to fix it. Uh, yes, it's going to be all of these. But, oh, God. Wait, this is interesting. <laughs> yeah, this is on the ground, but this domain is sick. This domain is so cool. <gasps> no! <laughs> I can see the elevator did. God damn it. <laughs> I keep forgetting there's just no ground, dude. I follow the wind. I follow the wind. Can you just fall? <gasps> Don't you dare push me off the edge, I swear to God, dude. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's one. Jesus, Sakari's got to pop it off, dude. I'll you. There we go. Nice. The cart is stuck. Maybe there's something wrong with the tracks. Let's try adjusting the direction of the device to clear the tracks. I fixed it. Go, quick, 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 quick. No, you... No, dude! Open. Okay, you know what? No, we're going to be very, very patient here. No, no. Move. If I get off, it's going to move, and then I'm going to be stuck. It was just for a chest. One... Should only be two, I think. No, three. There we go. One more to go, dude. Come <laughs> on. Okay. Ah, I see. I am smart, clever. <laughs> oh, that really hurt. Last one. Oh, God. Chat, I'm... I'm scared. I'm actually nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, God. Okay, it's emo only time. Hey, chat, if you're new here, I appreciate you as well. Thank you for hanging out with us today and experiencing this together. Join the Discord while you're here. Exclamation mark Discord. And follow the YouTube as well. The YouTube's got a pog. Oh, I'm so scared. Please. Come oh, on. Oh, God. I really thought this was going to be the elevator inside the Academia Library, but apparently not. Unless the that it's operational status, we must prepare for the worst. The god they wanted to create 
It's likely close to completion, but already completed. Unless the paladin is not here. That's not a surprise. I've already seen him control the weather. Oh no. What should we do? Oh no. Paimon can't imagine how hard it would be to fight against a Fatui Harbinger with a Gnosis. True. Are you nervous, Paimon? I am. If you really want to know, of course Paimon's nervous. Aren't you too, Nahida? Yes, I am. This is probably the first time I faced with a calamity of this degree since my birth. Jesus. I feel not just nervous, but curious as well. Curious? Curious about what? Curious about our fate. Oh, God. To me, everything we perceive in this world, everything we learn, and everything that happens to us is considered knowledge. And if it's a form of knowledge, then it can be understood. However, only fate is about that which has yet to occur, so it has always drawn my curiosity. So to me, fate is the ultimate knowledge. That's also why I love observing humans and all the things that happen to them. It all brings me great satisfaction. And now, at long last, I'm not just an observer anymore. Mm -hmm. I will personally experience my own fate with you by my side. <sighs> <laughs> Isn't this such a wonderfully <laughs> exciting thing? She's so ah, fucking so cute. that's what you mean. Paimon thinks she understands <sighs> what you're feeling. She's so cute, dude. I'm also looking forward to it. We won't lose. Agreed. Okay, let's continue on. I can sense his aura from here. Jesus. Okay, please be difficult if this is... gonna be the fucking boss fight. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit, the red? What is that? Oh, God. Who would have thought? world would be so eager for my birth. I remember you, Boor, the god of wisdom, and standing wow. beside you, the traveler. Is he all knowing and powerful now, like greater lord Ruka Devada? Wow, he called no, a Boor. I can't feel the same kind of divinity I felt from the greater lord. It seems that the sages didn't get the chance to infuse the divine knowledge capsules into him. But even still, he has undoubtedly become a true god now. Jesus. So we're too late? The Balladeer has already... already become a god? Yeah, but a stupid the one. Balladeer. A long bygone title. When my spirit ascended to divinity, I felt as if I had existed for the same number of epochs as heaven and earth. Looking back, the existence of what once called itself Kuni Kazushi appears infinitely small and ugly. Holy fucking shit. Shuki do call me the pro Huh? Imposing aura. It really feels like a god. What was that name, dude? <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, I, I'm going to have to go back and see that. That did not stay on the screen for anywhere near long enough to read. A body that capitalizes on the Balladeer's original construction as a mechanical puppet, with the Gnosis serving as a constant power supply. Jesus. How much effort and resources did the Sages put into this? From a purely technological perspective, it's a commendable achievement indeed. It's no exaggeration to say, this is the culmination of human wisdom. You sure are something! Dishing out compliments at a time like this? Oh. I don't think he's reached the spiritual height of a god. <laughs> she called him small. <laughs> uh, so we still the same old ballad here on the inside. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing. Strife is engraved upon every god and every gnosis brought forth into this world. Can you feel it? The exhilaration of such power and the thrill of anticipation for our contention. No. Nahida wouldn't feel the same things as you! Do you not realize that you are interrupting a conversation between gods? 
lowly creature, know your place. His redemption arc is going to have to be something fucking special if they're going to make me actually want to pull for him, dude. Uh, also, everlasting Lord of Arcane Wisdom. Holy. Don't be scared, Pymo. Still the same Baladia we know. The strife engraved upon a Gnosis. You're talking about the Archon War. Tavat's current peace was not easily won. I didn't personally participate in the Archon War. That you know of. But the way I see it, all those losses were meaningless. Driven by the demands of the laws. There's no point in bringing it up again. <laughs> Is that so? Yet I am deeply disappointed that I was never allowed the fortuity to personally participate in the Archon War. This is a first. Encountering a god in this world who does not crave power. No wonder your own people have abandoned you, god of wisdom. But from now on, Nahida's followers will only continue to increase in number. <laughs> your judgment is as your existence unsubstantial you're so cringe i'm not even kidding this is where everything ends boor the god of wisdom you should know that wisdom cannot solve every problem like now where your only option is to face me in combat that's why i'm here bitch <laughs> she looks so unimpressed <laughs> come huh let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. No. Smile. <laughs> oh, it's time! Okay! Perish! What in the fuck? Did I dodge all that? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, that charge is this? I am not gonna be hit by this shit, dude. Get the fuck away from me. Get away from me! Oh, we're now doing this one. This is fucking sick. Okay, do the electro one. Oh, the stun! Wait, what? Okay, huge. Nowhere to run. In shroud. Another one. Churn. I don't want to churn. Insignificant past. Shut your mouth. My endless cycle. Electro. Stun, pussy. Ah! No, it didn't work! The stun! <laughs> the wind knows me. The stun! Stay focused. Oh no! I'm gonna die! Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Electro one? It's only in half! I gotta overload it! Yeah, motherfucker! I hear everything! I can't see. Oh. oh well. I understand it though, that's pretty cool. What? <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, we get to see his legs now. <laughs> oh, this is about to be the child fight, dude. Falling through the ceiling. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> what the f He's fucking massive! I didn't think it was this big. Oh. Here we go. Wrong way, baby. This in the weekly mode, if, if it's a weekly, it's gonna be so fucking hard. This has to be a weekly. No, stop hitting me. Oh, shit. I'm dead. Oh, that's cool. Reality is pain. Another, what the hell? Okay. Jesus Christ. Did I just stop him in his head? Oh! Ooh! Hey, Paimon 2.0, can you help? Oh, what? This is supposed to be a battle between gods. 
Yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now, you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? No, wait, no! He's taking the noses! The data collection is almost complete. Huh? Do you even know how many times you've tried to take my noses from me? Oh my god, are we in a fucking Samsara? Is he? Holy fucking shit! We just concluded the 168th loop. Did you know that in the effort to create you, the people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzerus festivals and Samsara cycles? The power of dreams. Holy shit! When did you use it on me? Probably when, when he appeared for us. Wait, what is happening, dude? Hello? <laughs> you can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? Learn your fucking weaknesses every time? Come, traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. Oh, God. <gasps> All that battle experience. It's <laughs> more than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of the Akasha. Oh shit, is this actually the knowledge of the gods? Send everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. I've asked them to help you find a way to defeat the false god. Oh my god. Wait, this is so sick, dude. This is like an Avengers moment. Now, all of Sumeru's wisdom is at your disposal. Yo, where's my sister at then? Meaningless tricks won't save you. Shut up, bitch. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll be going straight into phase two. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Are you done with your tricks? Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? I'll leave this to you. The first <laughs> sage. A fool. The first sage? What the? Okay. Wait, we got a new title now? Hello? A thousand eons. Oh. Mine to dominate. Fuck you, pussy. Kneel. <laughs> no. Ah. Ah. Hold the aim. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, huge, huge, huge. Wait, this is so sick, dude. Oh, it's down. Good riddance, cruel world. Ah, uh, destroy the energy. What? Ah. Use memory. Share my knowledge. <laughs> no, another one. Huge. We did it. Hold to aim at what? Him? Fuck you. Not oh. <laughs> Wait, that's so sick. What? Keep up. I, it won't let me. I got scammed. Can I stop fucking up? Reality is pain. Oh, I understand that one. Dude, this is so sick. Holy god damn. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was a lot of fucking damage. I feel like this is more climactic. Ah, fuck you. Scaradouche! Woo! Humans. Filthy humans. Shut up.
Oh shit. The Gnosis. Are we gonna get to keep a fucking Gnosis? Nah, the Tori's gotta come back, dude. No. Wait. Please. Anything but the Gnosis. Oh, God. That's mine. Don't even try. I'll never. I'll never go back. No, you will. Bye. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I thought you were going to save him from hurting himself or something, but never mind. Oh. Is he okay? We haven't yet found the answer to the most important mystery. What? Herman Soul is still waiting to be saved. I think the Tori is there. With the power of another Gnosis? We may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord Rukadavata. What? Oh. This is. That's right. This is the last memory oh, of my predecessor. Oh. What? Uh... Huh. This sure seems very different from what Paimon imagined. Shouldn't Ermansoul be in this realm of consciousness? I'm... Yes, that is our destination. But I didn't expect the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadavata to be as polluted as this. But this is, this is, it's non-stop. Polluted? Uh, surely not. It must be due to forbidden knowledge. Forbidden knowledge? It seems you know about a concept that even I don't completely understand. Oh, God. Could you tell me what you know? You tell the hitter all about what you had learned in the desert. That's a lot. That's going to take a while. Your inference seems logical enough. Forbidden knowledge once polluted the desert thousands of years ago, but was successfully repelled thanks to King Deshret's self-sacrifice and Greater Lord Rukadavata nearly exhausting her power. Mm. Then, a second instance of forbidden knowledge pollution occurred during the Conria Cataclysm 500 years ago. But I'm afraid it is much more serious this time, with Ermansoul itself already in danger. So... If we're in the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadavata, and it's also been affected by forbidden knowledge pollution, then does that mean in order to save us, Greater Lord Rukadavata? Yes. It's very possible that she sacrificed her life in the fight against forbidden knowledge. Mm. She didn't completely eradicate forbidden knowledge, but if it weren't for her actions, the pollution would have been far more rampant over these past 500 years. The way that everyone, including me, has forgotten everything about forbidden knowledge may very well be due to her restoration of Ermansoul. <laughs> Aww. Do you feel sad, Nahida? That didn't seem sad, that... I'm just... Uh, sharing her pain. The pollution of her consciousness here is severe. There is madness, chaos, and pain all around us. Sharing her pain or literally sharing her pain because it's you? Did she fight to resist the forbidden knowledge pollution in such terrible conditions all the way up to her last breath? She even used her last remnant of lucid consciousness to leave a clue for us to follow. By clue you mean the words, world forget me? Yes. Her words were distorted by forbidden knowledge, so that's all we could hear. What was the rest? But now, we have a chance to find the answer to this mystery. We can cross the polluted consciousness until we found the right path to meet with her lucid consciousness. Damn, chat might have been right. We'll let Greater Lord Rukadabata tell us the truth in person. Dude, if we get to see an in-game model, that's going to be sick. I hope we can use that truth to save Each everyone. We just need to be mindful of the state of our own consciousness while we are here. Mm-hmm. Even with the Gnosis's protection, we must always keep a clear mind. 
Otherwise, we could go mad at any moment. That sounds fun. <sighs> That's so scary. No, it sounds Don't fun. Worry. It should be easy enough for you to keep that mind of yours clear, Paimon. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Okay, sorry, chat. I had to, I had to lift up my... Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but you're... <laughs> Wait, what was... What was that, uh... What was that achievement called? I'm sorry, sir, but you're what? Dude, Technari kind of pops off now, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we definitely saw a boat at least like this in one of the other quests. I remember it. I just can't remember exactly which quest it was. Al Hytham was with us. The boat in the desert. Yeah, very, very similar to this. Wait, is this still an end? Where? You fucking idiot. How are you halfway in the fucking wall, dude? Bro, where do you keep coming from? <laughs> you. No, he died. Yeah, I found the Helm Paimon, but the stupid hillage hole was stopping me from using it. God damn it. Wait, we can sail? We change direction. Are we still going the right way, Nahida? Mm -hmm. hmm. Judging from the current route, the boat of consciousness will soon take us out of here. Okay. <gasps> that was like the R and R thing. Right? The underground R and R place. Am I wrong? Holy shit. God, that's weird. I'm nervous. We'll be arriving at our destination soon. How are you feeling? Are your minds still intact? Some strange thoughts came from time to time, but I seem to be okay now. Huh? But everything's been completely normal for Paimon. Hopefully there won't be any more Sus. interruptions. This time, we should be able to meet Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Are you saying you've never met Greater Lord Ruka Devata before? No. It seems that my birth and her death took place at the same time. I'm still kind of convinced that they're the same person, unless something proves us wrong in this. I don't know. Otherwise, I think she would have given me a little more guidance, and I could have done a better job. Mm. Hey, you've done a great job, Nahida. Let's get out of this creepy place and go meet her. Yeah, let's. This is way too ominous, dude. This is way too ominous. So, is this the place you were talking about? The base of Ermansoul? Yeah, with the Camryo cubes. We're back. What if I fall? Okay, I had to check. Dude, this is so fucking pretty. Holy shit. Dude, the Camryo cubes are so terrifying here. Well... This is the place. Oh god, my arm's hurting. <laughs> yes, it's the same place with my memories. I... Uh, we're here to find Greater Lord Ruka Devata, right? But... The one standing over there is... I do it! Is that... Mm -hmm. She looks exactly... Like me. Are you... Greater Lord Ruka Devata? You are. Yes, that's Surely. me. Are you surprised by my appearance? I can't believe my eyes. The two of you look almost exactly the same. Don't confuse me now. They're the same person, right? Ermin's soul and the surrounding lands have been reproduced here as they were years ago. But this is just a realm of consciousness. We are manifestations of the same nature. Hence why we would appear exactly the same. Hmm? We're... of the same nature? Why? Because you are me. And I am you. You are me in the new samsara. The new samsara? As greater Lord Ruka Devata, I'm the avatar of Ermansoul. And you are the purest branch snapped from Ermansoul. So after this, we're gonna find out what she's talking about in Razor language. Uh, but I think I'm following pretty well. Imagine it this way. Even if a tree dies, its branches will eventually take root and grow, continuing the tree's life in another form. Yeah. I'm merely the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. The real me has presumably died a long time ago. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> Judging from your appearance, I've probably been dead for 500 years. But you're finally here. My new self in the samsara. So this is the connection between you two, Lesser Lord Kusanali and Greater Lord Rukadavata. If this is true, then am I going to be a great Archon like you someday? Though we share the same nature, our fates are bound to be different. All things have their own fate. When a branch grows into a mature tree, it won't be the same as the original tree. That's why fate is the ultimate knowledge, isn't it? That's a great insight. Yes, very good. It's also precisely why you won't become like me. <sighs> really? You don't have but to. Become yourself. You may become an even greater Archon than I. Yeah. I already see a determination in you that I didn't possess in my time. And the future that it leads you to will be yours alone. Aww. Along with the blessings from your past experiences. Man. Don't worry. The growth of wisdom is like that of a plant. You only need to wait quietly for the flower to bloom. I have faith in Nahida too. She'll definitely become a great Archon. Come to think of it, the sages never had the faintest inkling of the meaning of wisdom. True, honestly. Thank you. Nothing makes me happier than discovering that the Archon I always admired was in fact myself in another fate. So if I'm right in saying... Ruka Devata and Nahida or Kusanali are the same person in different times, right? But obviously, the theories that were said where, like, if you replace all the parts of a, of a fucking ship, is it still the same ship or whatever, is true. It is that whole situation. Uh, it's basically just a branch of the original Archon. So, Kusanali and Ruka Devata are the same, but because of the memories not transferring and stuff and everything else, they're still kind of different, technically. That's really interesting. Okay. So both are kind of true. It's so nice to speak with you, Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Hmm. I've always wanted to meet you. I like that. That's a, that's a good way to do it, honestly. The feeling is mutual. From the moment I snapped the branch off Ermin's soul and created you, I've also looked forward to talking with you. Oh, man. Could you tell me why you wanted to create me? Ooh. And what exactly happened when you died? I'm curious. Uh, I see. You're here seeking answers, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Everything that day, even the sky itself, changed into a color like this. The Camrya Cataclysm. Yeah, the cubes, dude. The cubes were a dead giveaway in the first Alcon quest. I knew it. At that time, the seven were all summoned <sighs> to the nation of Conria. Except for me. I had a more important task to attend to. I had to protect Erminsoul. The disaster occurred together with the pollution of forbidden knowledge. At that very moment, with my consciousness connected to Erminsoul, I sensed something was wrong. The pain started to torment my mind. By the time I reached Erminsoul, it was already displaying signs of corruption. Had I not repelled the pollution of forbidden knowledge with King Deshret thousands of years ago, I might have felt even more hopeless and lost. With King Deshret, was I right? They were closer than people thought? They were... So what exactly is forbidden knowledge? It's a kind of knowledge that doesn't belong to this world, and a form of truth that can't be understood. It came from the very bottom of the abyss. Even I could never understand it. The world is constantly rejecting it, leading to all kinds of bad phenomena. If we allow forbidden knowledge to pollute Ermensoul, I'm afraid the entirety of Tavat could fall apart. Jesus. So, there's knowledge that even the God of Wisdom can't understand? At that time, I knew I couldn't repel the forbidden knowledge with my strength alone. Which is why I created a device that compiled human wisdom and named it the Akasha. It's truly the world's most amazing invention. The boomerang is pretty cool as well. <laughs> Thank you. For a long time, 
I thought dreams were the fruit of human wisdom. Though it was selfish to do so, I borrowed people's dreams using the Akasha. Then I compiled their wisdom and all of my own power. Jesus. Well, did it work? Good question, did it? Thanks oh. to the wisdom of the people of Sumeru, almost all the forbidden knowledge was cleared from Ermansul. But... Things didn't go as smoothly as I thought. I had a terrible oh. headache, which gave me an uneasy feeling. No. And then... I remembered that my consciousness was also connected with Ermansul. It brought me knowledge and wisdom, but vile corruption as well. Yeah. From the very beginning, my existence had been polluted by the forbidden knowledge. Oh no! How could that happen? I've experienced that pain in your consciousness. It must have been a horrible experience. Yes, but my feelings weren't important. The important thing was that... Um, and so it'd be saved, I guess, right? Even if I died, my existence and everything related to me would continue to exist in Ermansoul as memories and knowledge. Meaning that the forbidden knowledge couldn't ever be permanently eradicated. And there's no way for me to eliminate myself. It would be a sort of paradox. Damn. So, I took the purest branch of Ermansoul as my incarnation in the next samsara and left a trail of clues. All in hopes that you would come here and remove me and my pollution from Ermansoul forever. Mm. Wait! No, I can't! Jesus. <laughs> so you realize what that implies? You are very smart indeed. It is going to be us that Ermansoul burns the tree. Ermansoul has all the knowledge and memories of this world. And as you've realized just now, Removing me from Ermansoul means I essentially will never have existed in this world. But this is the only way to save Ermansoul. I still don't think it's People the... People love you so much and... <sighs> and they've missed you so much over the past 500 years. I... I am exactly the same. So how... How can we just forget you like this? Is there really no other way? There must be something else I can do. You're the god of wisdom, Boor. You should know that there is no other way. <sighs> but this... This is so cruel. I don't want to forget you. Man... No need to feel so sad, Boor. As someone who delights in wisdom, you should feel joy at finally finding the answer. These are the words in their entirety. The answer you've been mm. seeking all along. The world must forget Let me? the world completely forget me. It still means the same thing. World forget me, let the world... Oh. under the great tree of wisdom, peering out to perceive the world. From the earth and from the rain, we perceive its wonders until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch. Oh, the tears. And finally snap off the most important leaf. <laughs> Once upon a time, I alone dreamed in this world. In my dreams, everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Some tumbled to the ground, and others floated to the sky. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds were numerous smaller worlds. All of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. I gradually understood that these indescribable and constantly changing things are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. Only dreams can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness. Oh.
the music, dude. Wait. I'm the one who posed this question, yet also the one who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my the answer. Music. And now, you've also found your own answer, and I shall return all the dreams to the people. Oh. Is Kole going to be cute? Goodbye, people of Sumeru. May you be blessed tonight with the sweetest of dreams. Oh, shit. I thought she was going to be dead. Fuck! I'm kidding. Oh, that's cute, dude. Oh. Oh, man. I feel so bad. Oh, Nahida, are you all right? I'm all right. I, I'm just a little confused. Hey, I just want to say, Nahida's VA is it Kimberly? Fucking it has to be one of the one of the 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 most impressive uh, VAs I've I've seen in any game, dude. The range that you can go from from being super happy to childlike to crying to emotional to dep like depression and fucking the the whole emotional range is insane. God damn. The way that you, that she said the 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 same four lines or whatever I think it was four or five times in the in the in the trailer thing, uh, but every single time was a different like emotion that was portrayed. It, it's so good, dude. What are you confused about? I'm sorry. We've I had to say that. The world, right? We did kind of a little bit. So I. Why? Why am I crying? I still I think we're gonna end up having to burn the tree. And Nahida's going to be more okay with it now because I think Datori or the Fatui might try to get the other knowledge from the tree and I think we're going to be the ones to burn it, but I could be wrong. Don't tell me. I don't know where this feeling inside of me is coming from. But I feel very sad. Do you still remember what happened just now? Just now? We used the power of two Gnosis to successfully connect with the Ermin soul consciousness from 500 years ago. Then, we removed the remaining pollution from Merman's soul. Oh, she's forgotten her. Did I manage to remember because I'm not from this world? Yeah, what's wrong? Weren't you there just now? Paimon doesn't seem to remember either. What? Has everybody really forgotten Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Wait, huh? Should I tell them the truth? Oh, what the fuck? What's that sound? I feel super sleepy. No way we're in a samsara, dude. Oh god, it's it's Datori? I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. We're gonna have to burn the tree. Huh? That sound. Oh fuck me, Trevor. dude. I knew he I've wasn't been gone. Waiting here far too long. <laughs> okay, why hot though? Finally, I have Jesus the Christ. chance to be alone with you. Okay, bitch. All the precious time I wasted has finally paid fuck you. off. Fuck you! Fuck you, doctor. I seem to have come down with a flu and I need to be seen naked. Fuck you, bitch. The doctor. <sighs> what have you done? Just a type of sound wave that can quickly put defenseless people into a dream. As I expected, it doesn't have any effect on gods. So we're not a god. This is the only thing of interest I found among the sages' research. I thought I'd take it for a little spin. Oh, God. Don't worry. I know you would never forgive me if I actually killed them. Paimon's proper, like, fallen asleep. <laughs> I'm here to negotiate with you. Interesting. Naturally, I won't do anything dangerous that could potentially damage our relationship. Negotiate with me? I heard you had already left Sumeru. Why are you here again now? I think this is a different, not the Omega build. I said this before, but I don't think this is the Omega build. I think the Omega build left, or the other build left, and this is the Omega build. However, I am going to say, if I have to ever choose between Scaramouche and Tutori, I'm picking Tutori any day of the week, dude. <sighs> I left Sumeru. 
But I, I knew also it. stayed in Sumero. With your fucking Even clones. The God of wisdom is restricted by the habits of cognition. Called it, dude. How disappointing. You mean there are many different versions of you in this world? Mm hmm. An astute guess. Called it. Even yes. the same individual will have different cognitions at different ages. A long time ago, I made a major decision in hopes of preserving all my perspectives of how I observed the world. Observation is the first step of any experiment, but observing the current world doesn't satisfy me. It lacks an important dimension, that of time. Esteroth? So I saved segments of all my ages and yep. made them into independent individuals. That's all there is to it. Indulge me. We knew that, How but... How does the God of Wisdom find my method of seeking knowledge? It's impressive. It's an insult to the very concept of life. It is, but it's impressive. Life inherently has many rules and restrictions, each with its own significance and reason to exist. It can't be broken on a whim. <laughs> Good. Amazing, even. God, he's Indeed, so cool, dude. It's difficult for humans to make peace with themselves. Not to mention oneself from a different period. Since you're in the academia, why wait until now to show up? You could very well have stopped us and helped that fake god. Simple. Question. Let me ask you this. Would any staff member ever help the subject in the middle of an experiment? So I had a theory beforehand, and I mentioned this a few times, but I don't know if it's going to be right. I thought Dottore wouldn't help because he wanted the Gnosis to be powered up or taken from him or something to, to then take it back. Uh, but I'm curious. It was my experiment. So why and, I should mean, I interfere with the results? That is true. The Academia saw the plan to create a god as their ultimate goal. Yet you only saw it as an ordinary experiment. You... You really are crazy. If the experiment succeeded, you would have had a new god on your hands. How would you have faced your own god then? True. Would you still take the same stance? Would you still hold the same view of yourself? I'm first and foremost a scholar. These results should be left to the judgment of the hypothetical me confronted with that outcome. But you're right. And that's exactly why I'm disappointed with the conclusion of this experiment. As an individual, you don't have any sense of belonging. You seem to have even fewer convictions than a typical scholar. Oh no, I certainly have my own convictions. They just don't fit your standards, that's all. Yep. All right, that's enough conversation for today. The experiment is over, and it's time to tidy up the equipment and reclaim any useful materials. For example... Yep. The Gnosis. Fucking knew it. No shot you get in that bag. Mr. Lord Kusanali, you're an intelligent Archon. I'm sure you understand the disparity in our combat abilities at this time. Besides, you have no way to use that Electro-Gnosis in battle. Didn't you say you were here to negotiate with me? Somehow, it's starting to seem like you intend to take it by force now. <laughs> I'm merely stating a fact. After all, I'm also a scholar. Uh... Naturally, I hope to show proper respect and dignity to the God of Wisdom. Jesus. Your hypocrisy is built on absolute confidence. I understand your scheme, but... What if I were to destroy the Gnosis now and awaken the Heavenly Principles? Oh, shit. Awaken the heavenly principles? Hmm. Do you think that's really possible? The heavenly principles have been silent for many years, but the Gnosis are symbols of their control over Tevat and all the laws. Will the destruction of a Gnosis attract the attention of the heavenly principles? And if so, how do the Fatui plan to deal with the consequences? Shit. Do you dare? To gamble such a possibility with me? <laughs> gamble? How surprising. I thought you would show evidence or use rigorous reasoning to prove your point. The word gamble is the last thing I expected to hear from the god of wisdom. She's still a kid. But this is a clever move. 
You must have seen through me when I first captured your consciousness. Oh, I don't like this. As a scholar, I respect all possibilities. This has always been my principle and is an essential trait as an experimenter. Indeed, I can't ignore this possibility. So tell me then, what are your conditions? Oh God. This foreign gnosis will only lead to disaster if it stays in Sumeru. But this electronosis is the prize I obtained after defeating one of your fellow harbingers. Now, as the one who initiated this cascade of events, shouldn't you pay the corresponding price? Price? Interesting. What price would you have me pay? Keep Scara? How about erasing all your other segments? Huh? <laughs> so this is how you wish to restrict me, the most threatening opponent of the Nation of Wisdom. What you request of me is like plucking out the eyes I have placed in the dimension of time. Holy shit, that's small. Segments are extraordinarily difficult to make. They require extremely rare resources and enormous amounts of time and effort, requiring me to destroy them all here and now. Bravo. Really smart. A suitably wise decision on your part. Yes, how very interesting. Can I assume that you have long been wary of me? Among all the versions of me, this segment you see now is the most selfish. If it weren't me, your idea wouldn't have worked. What did you see when you were imprisoned? You were observing me, and that's how you know I've long grown tired of their doubts and endless arguments. Like you said, it's difficult to make peace with yourself. Oh, jeez. Is he gonna Being do it? Being as smart as you are, have you managed to do that? Hmm. I see. If you think all those versions of me are worth a gnosis, then deal. Damn. You sure didn't hesitate much. Is the relationship between all the versions yeah, I was gonna say, it's, really that bad? It's probably not worth it. I don't think there's any need to dwell on that. The surplus versions of me can be exchanged for a Gnosis. Do you think anyone can offer themselves at a higher price? Besides, with my abilities, it's only a matter of time until I find better perspectives. Perhaps it's best to say, you're just temporarily ahead. Oh, God. But what I'd like to know is, how can you be sure that I've really erased them? Put a permanent Akasha terminal on him. Honesty. What? Excuse me? Is there like a cup of it inside hmm. him? Oh. What the fuck? What a ridiculous decision! Sheer you can't be serious! How could I have been you so short-sighted? You think that this is the end? Self. Wait, I'll have my revenge. You'll make Good this riddance. moment count. You, you will regret this. Wow. Hello? Have you confirmed that it's complete? Wow, he Here, did it. Take it. The future of Sumeru City will be in my hands alone. I will shut down the Akasha and let curiosity and the thirst for knowledge drive the realm of academics once again. There won't be any further gaps for you to exploit. It truly pains me that my academic achievements have never been appreciated in my homeland. Holy shit! Of course, I have no interest in being rejected by this city for a third time. Another chess piece. And where is your dendronosis? Don't be greedy, Harbinger of Snezhnaya. <laughs> no, this is a different transaction. If you intend to turn off the Akasha anyway, then there's no further use for the Gnosis of Sumeru, is there? Mm. Besides, isn't it the Archon's duty to deliver what's desired of the Seeker? Oh, judging from your expression, you don't seem to find the idea very agreeable. Then let's think of it this way. Since you're the god of wisdom, how about I exchange some knowledge with you? 
people exchanging knowledge with the God of Wisdom is the stuff of legends. Yet here you wish to exchange knowledge for the God of Wisdom's property. Arrogant as that is, it has piqued my interest. Let me ask you, have you in all your mighty knowledge ever heard the rumor that the skies oh. of Tevat are fake? Huh? Excuse me? That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth what? of this world. Wait, that's what's hidden by... Oh, now I really want to fucking burn down the tree. Once I finish telling you about this, it will be time for me to say goodbye. What With the With negotiations, fuck? we've all gotten what we wanted. I'm very glad I got to meet you like this. Your arrogance may know no bounds, and convictions may mean nothing to you. But I'll still listen to what you have to say. Please let us listen as well. Don't do this where it goes to a fucking black screen and doesn't tell us, dude. Please. Fuck you. <laughs> Secrets and dark truths, Lord of the Mind of the Wise, then everything falls silent. Of course it does. It literally goes to a black screen as soon as I say it, dude. I fucking... I am so done. Several days later. Oh, what? The skies disappeared? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh We th together. Okay. Wake him up. What? Okay. Why my woke up before me? Interesting. Are you awake? Collie says it's time for breakfast. Collie's oh, fixed. Good morning, Paimon. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Pretty good. Good to hear. It looks like we've recovered pretty well. Not even Tainari could stop us from going out now, right? That's right. On that day, we lost consciousness in battle. When we woke up, we found ourselves in Gandavaville, and Technari and Kole were looking after us. I heard that it was Sino who brought us here. Technari complained that Sino was always sending people to him. God damn it. After completely exhausted ourselves, we had a good rest here. After a few days, we finally recovered enough to be able to back out. From what Technori and Kole have said, the Akasha has been turned off completely and the people of Sumeru, Sumeru will no longer rely on it. And they can dream now. Kind of huge. Such a big change will certainly affect people's lives, but it will definitely be a good Come thing. On, Traveler. Let's go. Man, oh my lord. Dude, that was sick. Wait, there's still more as well. Check Amber's voice line about Kole. I will after this. Looks like you're awake. I am. Yep, yep. Looks like you're f free of the curse. Good morning, Kole. I prepared some breakfast today. Please have a taste. I hope you'll like it. <sighs> it's nice to have you here so we can eat something yummy. Can you now imagine if Baiju's snake, Changsheng, actually was just suffering from Elazar and turned into a snake, and now that it's all fixed, Changsheng just turns into, like, a fucking random-ass woman, like, just hung onto his neck? <laughs> Why she's like, wait a minute, what the fuck? <laughs> That'd be so funny, dude. Well, now that I've recovered from Elazar, <laughs> I'm feeling better than ever. I can even prepare four or five meals a day now. Oh, hell yeah. I'm a bet they're all delicious. Oh, you enjoy a yummy breakfast with Kole who's been waiting for you. Oh, by the way, someone brought a letter for you after you went to sleep last night. Uh, Paimon hasn't already read it? Nope. Paimon wanted to read the letter with you after you woke up. So Paimon didn't open it. All right, let's read it now. Oh, it's from Milu. Oh? Ahem. We're going to hold a feast at the Grand Bazaar and celebrate Sino's reinstatement as the General Mahamatra. As heroes of Sumeru, please be sure to attend. I'll wait for you. Hmm. The date of the banquet is written on the back. It's in two days. Oh, I've also heard that you are here as well. That's amazing. Uh, it's really not that amazing. No, we were just doing our part. Sometimes I'm really envious of strong and confident people like you. Uh, but you're amazing too, Cole. Oh, <laughs> you're embarrassing me. <laughs> I would never. Anyway, let's go to the Grand Bazaar to have a look. Oh, before you leave, be sure to inform Master Tainari. Okay. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything until this is over, actually, because stuff could still happen, I guess. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Good morning. How do you feel today? We feel much better. How about you? And how's the wound from the lightning strike? I'm recovering well. Thanks for asking. But from the looks of it, 
You seem to be already busy with work again. It's mm. fine. I'm not that busy, really. The Elazar patients have recovered, as well as Hapasia. For now, I only need to tend to my Forest Watcher duties. It seems once Erminsoul started getting better, everything else started to recover, too. Yes, but there are still some residual effects. Hmm. The withering is one example. Though it won't spread anymore, the existing zones won't just disappear. We forest rangers will still need to do the work. Oh, uh, I appreciate it. That's a lot to ask. By the way, we have some good news. Sino got his position back. Woohoo! My man. <laughs> this news is hardly new. He had already mentioned it to me before. Huh? You mean he was already here? Why did he come to say hi to us? Probably busy, Paimon. He visited once, but he was afraid of disturbing you while you were resting. He just asked me a few questions and left. Then you probably already know all about the celebration feast. Celebration feast? No, I haven't heard anything about that. Huh? But didn't Nilo say in her letter that they would celebrate Sino? Wait. He didn't tell you? Why wouldn't he tell him? Perhaps, or alternatively, oh, he doesn't know about it either. It's a surprise! Well, come to think of it, Sino doesn't seem like the type who'd enjoy a celebration feast. I guess Nilu's only planning on telling uh, him once festivities are underway. You and Kale are both Sino's close friends. Why don't you come to the feast with us? Kale has taken over some of my tasks these days. Yeah, I bet. I don't think she'll have time for it. Oh, come Not on. It's a celebration for your bestie. Just go. You see, some VIPs have come to the forest recently. What? Huh? VIPs? Very important Paimons? God damn it. Well, technically speaking, they are former VIPs. The sages involved in recent incidents have begun their training in the Avidya forest, and the people they had previously imprisoned have all been released. Huh? So the sages didn't burn. Is your master all right? Yes. He's a little weak, but he isn't injured and his condition is stable. Lesser Lord Kusanali, in her boundless mercy, has decided to spare Azar and the other wrongdoers. Supposedly, they were ashamed of their shallow ideologies and have decided to dedicate the rest of their lives to cultivating wisdom in the Avidya forest. Hoyavas, rip off the fucking band aid and let people be evil for a minute. Even if it's Nahida who is all good and everything, she wants rip. Just let her have a bit of fucking revenge. Take their fucking heads off. Even the squirrel in the back agrees with me. They, they shouldn't be able to get away with shit like that. I'm sorry, they just shouldn't. Dottore got away. Scarabouche is going to end up getting a redemption. All the sages don't get shit done to them. It feels unfulfilling to an extent. It genuinely does. When they learned that Lesser Lord Kusanali had defeated the Balladeer and saved Soul, they were shocked at first, but also became happy, feeling that the sacred light guiding them on the path of discovering wisdom had begun to shine once again. As a result, work has increased for the forest rangers. That sounds really exhausting. 12 plus game? They There's killed Senor! can do, really. But that's another topic. Back to the matter at hand. Are you two planning to head out? Yes. Ah, right! We're here to request permission to head out. Would that be okay? You've recovered well. You may go, but be careful. Hmm... Hi, yi, yi. Yeah, sure, it's banishment, I guess. They're still in Sumeru. It's not even banishment, really. I don't know. I just think they deserve more. They should be in prison for fucking life, not trained up in a different area. It might just be me. I don't know. She was grounded in a hamster ball for 500 years. Nahida is way too nice. Uh, agreed. Very much agreed. I don't know. <laughs> Feels very weird to me that. Well, there won't be any problems if the feast starts at that time. Everything has already been prepared. Mr. Zubair, I finished hmm. telling things up here. Well, except for the guests. <sighs> Is a simple reply really that much to ask of our guests? <laughs> it's affecting our arrangements. Oh, come on, Zubair. Oh, it'll be fine. Besides, it never hurts to get things ready in advance. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. The feast will be held sooner or later, right? Yeah. Hey, true. Lou. Traveler, Paimon. Well, hello. Your letters, so here we are. Oh yeah, You're everyone's gonna be here, dude. The other guests haven't even replied yet. Huh? Are we the only ones that have arrived? Yeah, I had someone deliver letters to all of our guests, but maybe everyone is still busy with other things. 
Look, I get it. Sumeru is in an extremely important period of transition right now, but even if your friends are important figures, they shouldn't just ignore your request like this. Nilu is Sumeru's number one celebrity, after all. Of course, you're right. <laughs> you have no idea how happy I am to talk to people with good taste. God damn it. If you consider enjoying Nilu's dances having good taste, then almost everybody has good taste. Because Paimon thinks everybody will love her performance. That's right. We all think she's amazing, too. <sighs> she is pretty amazing. She's pretty Nilu cool. She's an absolute favorite among those of us who frequent the Grand Bazaar. For Outlanders, you have a great eye. Master Zubair, let's have a vote for the most outstanding audience members next time. <laughs> I think these two may win. <laughs> Nonsense. It is not for us to determine the value of an audience. But indeed, we could try giving gifts to people with particularly good taste. I heard there's a device in Fontaine called a camera <laughs> that can record people's appearances as pictures. Such pictures would make superb gifts. I can take one Ooh, for you. Good idea. I wonder where we can find one. Uh, I don't want you giving pictures of me to everyone. <laughs> I'm satisfied just being able to perform here. Oh, God. There's a lot going on at the Grand Bazaar. Yeah, and that's why I love it here. Traveler and Paimon, could you help confirm if the letters were actually delivered? If for some reason they didn't receive the letters, then please tell everyone that there will be a feast here. Oh. We'll go around and check. Yeah, we can also check out how everything in Sumeru is going now. You know where everybody is. Hmm. When I wrote the letters, I heard that Dia was in Port Ormos, and Alhatham was at the Academia. As for Sino, We've only heard that he appears at the Academia from time to time. Neil, don't be weird. I'm not too sure about Rahman's whereabouts. My guess is that he's with Dia. As for Dunyazad, I just hope she's feeling better. I sent her a letter, but I was afraid of disturbing her. If you have time, please ask about her for me. Okay, got it. Let's go, Traveler. I have a feeling this is actually going to be a party for us. And everyone already knows. I don't know. Maybe not. Hopefully not. I don't know. I, I want it to be a party for other people. <sighs> but I shall be fine. We haven't seen all hate them anywhere. Uh, let's ask that person over there. Okay. About 30 minutes. Okay. Hey there. Have you seen all hate them around? Yes, it seems Scribe Al Haytham has gone to the house of Dana. You should be able to find him there. Again. But you're already the second group of people I've seen looking for him today. <laughs> he must be quite the busy man. Probably Sino oh, and Dea did. Looking for him. Mr. Cave was just here asking about him. Ooh. You wouldn't believe how terrible their relationship is. Cave! You two are here. Don't tell me everyone's here looking for gossip about the sages. No, not at all. No way. We're strictly here on business. <laughs> ah, I see. Sorry, I thought maybe everyone's as interested in rumors about the sages as I am. Uh-uh. No, Jeff. Uh, can I go see Kave? Is he here? Hopefully we get to see him in-game. <gasps> oh my god, he's there. Is he fucking Dendro? Oh man, he doesn't oh, he look Dendro. He doesn't look Dendro in the slightest, dude! Oh, Fuck! But it looks like he might not have time for us. Interesting. He's already talking with someone else. Just put down that worthless book and tell me what happened in the academia. Ooh, interesting this voice. This is not just some worthless book. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to find a physical book like this in Sumeru? It doesn't matter. It's probably just another thing that you used your authority to get your hands on anyway. Just put it aside. Listen. I came back today only to hear that the sages have disappeared. Oh, you sound surprised. Oh, shit. I thought you would already know the inside story. Would I be here asking you if I knew? You're the scribe, not me. So just tell me what you know already. Well, I almost became a sage. Huh? <laughs> oh, don't sound too surprised now. You're the renowned Kaveh, light of the Kasharawar. Besides, 
As a master builder and craftsman, chances are you'll be appointed as a sage too. Hmm. Why do I feel like you don't really mean it? I... Huh. What makes you say that? I'm curious. Why you question my heartfelt sincerity? He does look very Maybe similar to Alhaitham. Maybe because you've never said anything good about me before. Yeah, well I share a similar sentiment. And anyone who knows you as well as I do would surely do the same. Ugh, you... Ugh. See? This is why I hate discussing anything with you. Your ridiculous and arrogant attitude always gets in the way. <laughs> it seems that you really can't stand my personality. Ha! What was your first clue? <laughs> well, Actual married then you couple might as well did. Move out of my house. Oh! Are you threatening me? Stooping to a new low, I see. Ugh. And don't change the subject. You a sage? What a joke! Oh, the shit. academia might as well just close tomorrow. Are they having a fight? Let's see how this plays out. We're not in a rush anyway. <sighs> Forget what's going on with the academia. Haven't you been busy with your construction project? Tell me, when are you going to build yourself a mansion? Don't get me started. I get angry just thinking about it. <laughs> so, what great building did our master architect work on this time? Like I need to tell you. Keep your nose out of my business. Jesus, you're so toxic to each other. No, I think we deserve to know. Where were you when Sumeru needed you most? I was in the desert for a large project, but considering Haravatat's utter ignorance of architectural oh. matters, you probably wouldn't understand. I bet Kave is gonna be in the in the in the quest wherever we go into the desert to get to the nail, dude. Oh, which is truly unfortunate. I can only pity the man who doesn't understand the first thing about beauty and romance. Unlike a true uh, uh. Hold on, uh, wait a second. What do you mean by when Sumeru needed me most? <laughs> well, while you were out fiddling around in the desert, many people came together to save Sumeru from a crisis. Hell yeah. Ha! And you think I'd believe that? Look, all you really need to know is that Azar and all his accomplices have all been overthrown. Huh? Yeah. What nonsense are you talking about? Promise you. <laughs> it's no skin off my nose if you don't believe me. It's not like my Darshan was the one trying to apply for funding from the Grand Sage. Oh shit. Hmm. Yours, though, on the other hand. Oh, you know what? Shit. I'll ask around. I'm sure someone knows what's going on here. You're dead if I find out you're lying to me. That's kind of... That's kind of yikes. I, 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 okay, listen. Kave is interesting. He's hot, right? But uh, I feel like he's a... Too argumentative for me, dude. I ain't got time for that shit, you know? <laughs> She's Dendro, by the way. Yeah, I could tell with a huge fucking snot-colored vision on his waist. <laughs> Well, hello there. Oh, it's you two. What's the matter? We're running some errands for Nilu. Have you received her letter? Letter? Nilu said she sent out a letter inviting everyone to a celebration feast in two days at the Grand Bazaar. Yeah! We'll also be celebrating Zaino's reinstatement as General Mahamatra. If she addressed the letter to all Haytham of the Academia, then the letter should have gone to my office. I've been busy these days, so I haven't had time to check for any new mail at my office. I only now have some free time to attend to personal matters. Have you always been so busy with your work? Probably, to of be fair. Of course not. I'm only busy these days because several sages have been dismissed recently and the whole academia was practically turned upside down. Kainari told us they all went to train in the Avidia Forest. Apparently they will spend the rest of their lives there. Ugh. That is already the best possible ending for the likes of them. I disagree. Four of the six great sages were possessed by their desire for power and attempted to create a new god. In order to pull it off, they even imprisoned the other two rational sages. To imagine such things could take place in the academia. Hmm. I don't know where to begin. The six great sages sounds pretty powerful. Yeah, you're right. Huh. Feels kind of strange to hear them called that after all this time. Oh, best is in least punishing, I guess. The great school sounded pretty impressive, too. True? Yes. At least, that's how they're supposed to sound. It's said that when the Academia was first founded, the Dendro Archon herself established the six great schools, each representing one of the six different types of wisdom. Numerous Darshans have sprung up and faded, 
Only the six Darshans attaching themselves to the six great schools have stood the test of time and obtained permanent seats in the academia. Mm. Now, the six Darshans are nearly synonymous with the six great schools, and the leaders selected for the schools are the six great sages. Among the six great sages, there is one central leader, the Grand Sage. Unfortunately, only the sages from Vahumana and Amorta remain now. They were imprisoned for opposing Azar and were only rescued after Azar's downfall. Interesting. So who's managing things in the other four schools now? Do they need to find someone new? We're the first sages. Yes. We can do Normally, it. Normally, new sages are selected based on a strict set of criteria. Oh, didn't you just say something about becoming a sage? If they pick you, then we'd have a huge connection in Sumeru. Paimon has a point. Yes, about that. <clears throat> You didn't let me finish my sentence. Uh-oh. The person in charge of personnel affairs nominated me to be the Grand Sage in place of Azar and help Lesser Lord Kusanali manage the academia. But I refused. Huh? Huh? But why? Ugh. Can't you be a little more ambitious? Well, who's gonna I'm be? I'm not even interested in being one of the six great sages. Like I said before, I don't like being a leader. Yeah, but who's oh, gonna be what instead of you? So are you busy these days trying to find others to take the job? That's not my job either. I'm only responsible for handling important affairs within the academia before the new sages take office. So you're still a leader now, even if it's just temporary. <laughs> and the first thing I'll do is reject Kasharawar's application for funding. <laughs> By the way, Get who fucked. was the other person just now? Is he your friend? Kavi. Do we look like friends? You look like a married couple, motherfucker. Don't give me that Paimon attitude. Doesn't know. That's why Paimon's asking. His name is Kave. My roommate. Yeah. You could say he's the representative for Ksharwar scholars. Oh, he didn't seem to believe a word you told him. Which is exactly why he always has so many problems. Of course. So everything that's happened recently must be a huge change for the people of Sumeru. And they were roommates. Uh, thanks for your hard work these days. Such is the work of the Academia Scribe. Yes, indeed. Well, I'll anyway, them. Yes, indeed. No matter how busy you are, since you are our planner, remember to attend the celebration feast in two days. All right, I'll see you there. See you there. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so wait, leave and come back. Then we will go to Port Omos. Well, hello there. Azar has gone to the Avidia Forest to reflect on himself for the rest of his life. And those people say they want you to replace him as the Grand Sage? <laughs> what have you done? Just fucking arguments, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Azar's downfall is of his own making. What does it have to do with me? Everyone out there is saying something different. Some say Azar wanted to create a god, while others say he wanted to sell his power. <laughs> but none of those sound very likely. If you ask me, I think the people spreading rumors around here don't have access to any real information. Well, obviously really? no one does. Oh, then I'm sure you can use your abilities to uncover the truth for yourself. Oh, can't you show just a little respect to your senior and explain what's going on? Interesting. You were out there all this time, and yet you still haven't managed to learn a single crucial bit of information. What abilities, hmm. huh? I'm impressed. Fine. Apart from the leaders of Amorta and Vahumana, all the sages have been exposed and removed as Azar's accomplices. I know he's dendroids. We need to select new sages for your Kasharwar Darshan, as well as my Haravatat Darshan. What? Did my Darshan collude with Azar as well? Wait, could this be why they sent me out on a project? Oh, I think that's just a coincidence. Besides, whatever you were doing won't have any significant impact now or in times to come. You... <clears throat> Are you two just gonna Listen, argue all day? I'm not buying any of it. Don't try to use this as an opportunity to talk about your crazy theories. Holy shit, dude. I think there are a few details that everyone is overlooking. For example, how as the scribe, you were somehow able to escape this political crisis completely unscathed. This can easily be seen as the results of a power struggle, no? Yet nobody has stopped to point that out yet. I almost feel like I should go out and start telling people about that. <laughs> be my guest. But I think everybody will be more interested in your own well-known gaffes. Do you know what? I am done with you. 
Holy fuck, just kiss already. We're going to Port almost. Did it say he was going to be here? Not surely not Dottore, right? Adore, hello? Technari? This is Port Ormos. Dea. Oh, yeah, of course. <gasps> is that Paimon I hear? Is that... Oh, is that Dunya's... How are you doing? Dunya's but good, how about you? I'm doing well. Oh, I can go as far as saying I have never been happier in my entire life. You're healthy now. I don't know if you've heard, but Elazar has completely disappeared, and all the patients have recovered. Yeah. Are you kidding? Knowing them and the connections they've got, I'm sure they've heard about it. We caused it. <laughs> then it's better to see you here. That's right. My lady is feeling better now, so I'm accompanying her for a walk. Why do you still call me that, Dia? You've already informed my father of your resignation. Oh. <laughs> I guess I'm just used to calling you my lady. Old habits die hard. Resignation? You mean oh. you're quitting? Yeah, I might start losing my edge if I keep being a bodyguard for the Homayanis. You could be a bodyguard for the Traveler you know instead. My parents and I are fond of you, and we appreciate you very much. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be a problem if you wish to continue to be our bodyguard. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a woman that's easily persuaded. You should know that by now, my lady. When I took this job, I had already decided that I'd quit as soon as you'd recovered. It's time for me to get back out there and chase that horizon. So what are you going to do now if you're not going to be a bodyguard anymore? Come to the festival for food. I want to take a risky job and put my body to the test again. Huh? But we literally just finished one of the most dangerous jobs ever. Are you getting bored already? I know. If I hadn't joined in that plan with you, I wouldn't have come up with this idea. Mm. I guess I still get fired up by that feeling of going all out in a fight. It made me realize that I'm still a mercenary through and through. I want to know what your necklace Life is all is short, about. And I'm happy that Looks I like got a to key. be a part of that operation. But the whole thing also made me realize that there are still many problems in Sumeru. And as a desert dweller... I'm still not completely ready to settle down on this side of the wall. I think we'll get the... I, I think Dea and Kaveh will be two of the characters that help us get to the nail, probably, then. Kind of has to be, right? Otherwise, well, not really has to be, but they introduced them now for a reason. Well, I remember I a friend had someone bring you a message. Oh? You mean I'll hate them? <laughs> I didn't expect him to still remember that. I thought he was joking. We just came talking with all hate them at the academia yes we did did he tell you that he suggested that i come work at the academia what huh we didn't hear nothing about that i heard that azar and his cronies fell from power and all hate them told me that now was a good time to find a job in the academia but only if i wanted to whoa Hyman can't see you being anything other than a mercenary me either <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Uh, but I think Dia would look great dressed up as a scholar. Okay, you have to float uh, right in front uh, of me. Forget about it. <laughs> I wouldn't last 10 seconds in there. Me the day. Uh I'll hate them probably just like the way I worked and knew I'm good in a fight. So he suggested I in find the academia. work in the Chant. academia. In the academia. But you know, if you take him up on the offer, Sino might actually agree and let you become a mantra. Because mm. you're super amazing. <laughs> The Matra have all the talent they need as long as they have Sino. I prefer to be free to live however I choose. In fact, I chose this job from the very start because I knew it would be right up my alley. Fair. Even if being Dude, the music's popping. facing all kinds of danger, a lion has to return to the wild sooner or later. If anything, being your bodyguard has been unfamiliar territory for me. I don't want to see you go, but I'll respect your decision. I'm glad to hear you say that. Come on, no need for the sad face. It's mm. not like we'll never meet again. I guess being free is just a part of how Dea operates. Once the whole Dendro Archon thing is settled, everything in Sumeru will take a turn for the better. That makes me happy too. Have a good night, Iron. A peaceful society will probably mean less demand for mercenaries like me. Before long, we'll be a dying breed. True. So I'd better get to work while I still can. You make it sound like you're leaving now. Mm. Well, no, not yet at least. I promised my lady I'd stick around until next week. Oh, God. So, have you been in Port Ormos this entire time? We were wondering if you had received a letter from Nilu. Oh, uh, did Nilu write to us? 
She heard that you were seen in poor Ormo, so she sent the letter here. Just never got to him, huh. I guess. It was probably sent to the inn that we're staying at. My lady has been very energetic lately and keeps taking me on hikes, staying out even into the night. By the time we get back, the receptionist is usually off napping on the job. Right, and we tend to leave quite early in the morning, so the old man on duty is also usually dozing <laughs> So what it really sounds like is that the person on duty is always asleep. Always taking a nap. I bet the letter's at the reception desk. I'll go check later. No wonder there wasn't a reply. You never received the letter. Good thing Nilu asked us to come and check on that. Ah, uh, sorry to make you two come all the way out here. It must be something important for Nilu to specifically write to us like that. Hmm. Yes, she said they were preparing it's a, a victory feast in the Grand Bazaar, and we'll also be celebrating Sino's reinstatement at General Mahamatra. She was hoping you could come. Great, I'll be sure to attend. Count me in too. Let's go, but dude. We're getting everybody in. Dress code or anything for the feast? Nah. Can I just show up looking like this? Unless you want to wear something Since cooler. Being organized by Nilu, I don't think she'll be too picky about that. If anything, I think she wants to see us as our most natural selves. True. All right, then this is how I'll show up. The feast will be held in two days, so don't forget. Sure. Oh, Thank I skipped that by accident. Bye bye. Letting us know. We'll see you there. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know where Sino and Raman are? The General Mahamatra always comes and goes without a trace. Normally, no one knows his whereabouts. But last time we met, he mentioned that uh, he had something to do in Aru Village. I don't want to go there, dude. You can try your luck there. As for Raman, <sighs> your guess is as good as mine. I only remember he said that he had something to discuss with Sino. Thanks, Dale. You can ask Sino when you meet him. Don't mention it. You better get going. I don't want to go to the fucking oh, Aru Village. To our next stop. Isn't that where the sages are? Sleepy potato, have a good night. Wait, isn't that where the sages are, or am I dumb? Yeah, this was one of the best quests, in my opinion. It's been a while since we last visited Aru Village. Probably the best Archon quest, in oh, my opinion. Sino. Hello, Sino. Hmm. What? It's been a while. What brings you here? You. We recovered well, and Tanari agreed to let us leave. So now we're out and about again. It seems Gandarvaville's medical treatment is still as good as ever. Mm-hmm. And Tanari is recovering well, too. That's good to hear. Uh, thank you for taking us to him. Yeah. Isaac? You're the one who brought us to him when we lost consciousness, right? <laughs> Fucking Thanks damn it. That. You're welcome. Tainari has excellent medical skills, and Kale is quite attentive. It was the best place for you. True. But why are you just standing here like a dead tree? I'm meeting some people. Who? Oh, you mean Candace? I've already talked with Candace and the village chief. Oh, he's probably going to meet with the, the Aramites. Place. You can go there if you'd like to see them. But you know one of the people I'm meeting as well. Yeah. Oh, by King Deshret's blessing, my friend suddenly appears in the desert. <laughs> Wait, <gasps> Don't yeah. tell me you've run into trouble and need us to help now. Roman and... Satari? I forgot Satari? about Satari. I'm not going to lie. Oh, you know me? Nope. No, no, no idea. Uh, you're pretty famous in the academia. I don't remember you. Don't worry, these are our friends. No need to be so guarded. I see. No, I definitely remember her, but didn't we fuck with her in one of the quests? How have you been doing lately? I'm doing well. Many good things have happened. Yeah, we did. Recently. No, we didn't. No, chat. Same here. Fucked with her, here here. as in. I feel that my whole life has started to shine after suddenly finding a new direction. Like, we messed with her. We fucked around and found out. Fools, y'all are too fucking down bad. Oh, tell us everything. Yeah, you yeah. go ahead. We caused her right. serious trauma. Well, I suppose I should start by saying I've decided to leave the academia. Oh, shit. What? You're not going to be a scholar anymore? It's not that I've given up on being a scholar. Instead, oh, you could say I have found a new identity. Is she going to become an Aramite? I will no longer pursue research like a typical scholar, but I have not completely given up on my relationship to knowledge either. <laughs> I can see what you're saying now. Uh, what I'm do you picking mean? Pick it up what you're putting down. I plan to leave the academia and return to teach here in the desert. Fair. Wow, so you want to become a teacher? Sitaria will return to support education here and teach people from the desert. 
She can't teach everyone on her own, but there are many of us Eremites all over Sumeru. Mm. She came to discuss a collaboration with me and hoped that I could bring her ideas to the Eremites. Yes, it's my hope that the Eremites can help an me Aramite. select a group of smart people with the best aptitude for teaching. Holy shit. I'll teach them, and after they've finished learning from me, they can go educate more people. Hell yeah. That is the true meaning of education and the spreading of knowledge. The people of King Deshret suffer from sandstorms, exile, and ignorance. Miss Ataria is more than welcome to come teach here. I thought that was a star Her then. arrival is like a star shining in the desert night. The stars have always guided caravans, thieves, soldiers, and travelers who get lost in the night. They lead those in the dark out of trouble and back to safety. Yeah. Oh, no, please. Where is all of this coming from? I'm starting to feel a little embarrassed. You deserve these compliments. Mercenaries are accustomed Dead. to danger and don't fear death, <laughs> which is why we recognize extraordinary actions that common people would easily overlook. You're right, chat. It's uh, Sumeru, the nation of roommates. Setaria's idea will bring much good to many people. At first, I feared it was destined to fail. Everyone knows that the academia doesn't allow scholars to teach in the desert without permission. As you know, all knowledge is under their surveillance and control, and very few desert dwellers are as lucky as me. Mm. But what I heard at that time has been haunting my heart, as if there were lightning bolts constantly bombarding my soul. Hey, stop bullying Technari, okay? It wasn't his fault he got struck. Sataria, you tread a treacherous path, and the longer you ignore it, the tighter the academia's grasp on you will become. Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? Oh shit. <laughs> Never forget that the desert that belongs to you lies elsewhere. <laughs> it's all These long. words sparked something in me, <laughs> and I knew that I had to bring something back to my people after going home. I gathered up the courage to approach the Grand Sage, only to find that he was no longer at the Academia. Lord uh, Sino told me that Azar didn't belong there anymore. Jesus Christ. Azar has received much needed punishment. Good. Though, if you ask me, oh, it Jesus. may have been too light. Yes, we fucking heard, you trust probably me. probably have already heard. Yep. Lord Sino helped me obtain permission to leave the Academia for the desert, and accompanied me here to discuss collaboration with members of the Aramites. My plan was able to go smoothly thanks to him and Ramon. Fair. We're all doing so for the desert. Aside from that, I also have some other business to discuss with Sino. Lesser Lord Kusanali has allocated many resources to support and develop the desert. I've done some business for her, and part of it required the assistance of the Aramites. Okay. I applied for a few batches of educational materials from the academia and sent them to several groups in the desert, as instructed by Lesser Lord Kusanali. I believe the people will make good use of them. I'm probably just call it Nahida exactly at this point. What the people here need. Physical books and other related items. If it weren't for Sino and Lesser Lord Kusanali, I'm afraid we'd never be able to get our hands on them. Apart from this, the Academia is also recruiting scholars that are willing to teach in the desert. I'll let you and Satarian know as soon as I have any more news. Ooh, huge. We must be persistent about this and maintain these resources to ensure long-term effectiveness. This is the first time in hundreds of years we've Aww. had a glimmer of hope. Things are looking up for Sumeru, chat. This may be the turning point for the desert. Remember these words. Here lies our faithful priest, Kasala. His wisdom is a miracle among the people, deserving of high praise and admiration. I hope people with wisdom like that priest will rise again among the desert dwellers. Aww. Then we'll once again see the wisdom and glory that once shook the world. Enough about us. Are you here to discuss some business too? Yes, celebration meal, we come. We're actually here on behalf of Nilu. Nilu wanted to write to everyone, but she wasn't sure where the letters should be sent, so she asked us to come find everyone personally. A celebration feast will be held in two days at the Grand Bazaar. She hopes that all of you will be able to attend. At the feast, I'm sure they will. we'll also be celebrating Sino's reinstatement as General Mahamatra. Uh, although, judging from your appearance, <laughs> it seems you've already been reinstated. Yeah. Paimon thought you would only start working for the Academia after the feast. Celebration? Feast? 
Uh, so you really didn't know? It's the first I've heard of it. Tanari was right. She really didn't know. <laughs> this feast is for you, Sino. Sounds to me like you'll have to be there. Uh-huh. <laughs> It's rare to see that kind of expression from Lord Sino. <laughs> you must not like feasts very much. He just doesn't like attention, no, I feel like. not really. But I'll go. You two are invited as well. Well, I still have a lot to handle here. What? Besides, I need to look after Miss Sataria in the desert, so... Oh, fucker. I'll have to pass. No. I'm afraid I won't be able to join you. Oh, you two Although, are definitely hooking up after this. So kind, oh, whatever. Please give a message to Miss Nilu. Yeah, for sure. Me. Just tell me what it is the and messages. get on with it. I'm sorry for how I treated you before, but now I understand the beauty of your dance. It's like a light shining in the sky. Uh, what opened your you eyes, and huh? The art you symbolize are not only beautiful, but also lively and powerful. So much so that it was prohibited. Please keep dancing, and someday I'll be able to appreciate your art in person. Okay, mm. we've got all that down. We'll be sure to give the message to Nilu, and you're not very subtle either of you. Oh, Our goodbye. Party's in two days. Make sure you're there. Yes. Got it. Is that everyone now? I think it is, right? Can we go and enjoy the party? Yes. Oh, dude. This is giving me bad vibes on how they're gonna work uh, Scarabusha to be the playable character. I really hope it's not just a forgive and forget thing, dude. I really fucking hope not. Oh, God. It's party time, baby. Everybody's already here. Looks like we're the last ones to arrive. I'm here. <laughs> wait, wait, Sino, what? Hello, there you are. <laughs> did, did, did the voice just say, I'm here, but the subtitle said, you're here? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm here. <laughs> like, I didn't ask. <laughs> Good evening. Well, look who finally decided to show up. Give my 300 pre rolls, Holy You look like you came here immediately after finishing up some work. <laughs> I'm very happy to see you here. Ay, ay, ay. We're not late, are we? It's just that everyone else arrived ahead of time. <laughs> yes, I know, especially. I propose that the last one who arrived be put in charge of today's speeches. Oh, fuck. Nah, there won't be any speeches today. Oh, really? Well, even better. <laughs> Come join us over here. Let's share some great food and drinks. And chat about all sorts of fun things. <laughs> My new favorite head cannon is Sino announcing himself everywhere he goes. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Everything looks quite good. Yeah? You sound wow. pissed off. Paimon can't wait! Traveler, just look at all the delicious food here! Oh, God. The feast and celebration of the General Mahamatra in the Grand Bazaar goes as planned. Drinks are flowing, the food is delicious, and the venue is beautifully arranged. Everybody eats and drinks before enjoying the performance prepared by Nilu and everyone in the Grand Bazaar. She's gonna dance again? <laughs> Let's do it. Time passes gradually in the wonderful atmosphere, and the beautiful evening feels almost like a dream. Oh. Delicious! Oh, this grilled meat tastes amazing! The food was specially prepared for you by everyone in the Grand Bazaar. Hell yeah. And we have gifts that were sent by the residents of Sumeru City when they heard we were holding a feast. Everyone that came said that you saved Sumeru and wanted me to thank you all on their behalf. Ah, feels kind of nice to be seen as a hero. I could get used to this. Being a bodyguard is also a hero's job. <laughs> nah, true. You've always been amazing, Dia. <laughs> My lady sure has a way with words. My lady, Thanks. huh? And I'm happy to meet everyone that participated in the great plan. Don't I have my hand it. on my keyboard. Come to think of it, we've really done something impressive together. It's unbelievable. We owe it to our abilities. Oh, the space and luck. bar. Really? Why do I remember everybody thinking that luck was against true, us? True, dude. Feeling like we hardly had a chance of succeeding. That is true. That's how I remember it too. It's luck that brought us together, and it was luck that let us form a team. Then it took even more luck for us to formulate a plan and implement it successfully. Moreover, judging from the results, everything worked out well. Hell yeah! yeah. Everyone gave it their all when it mattered most. It was almost like a performance. We took the stage and put on our best show. Everyone played their part. And thanks to everyone's efforts, the performance was a great success. So, would you say Aww. we're good actors too? Uh, that's one more talent under our belt. It's such a blessing that Lesser Lord Kusanali was able to return to power at the Academia. Yes, 
Even after being abandoned and neglected so many times, she's finally returned. Returned to the academia, abandoned and neglected. Do they think? Uh huh. Have they fl Lesser Lord Kusanali once used all her power in a great disaster, which resulted in her losing all her wisdom and memories of the past. The academia basically abandoned her because of it. So they totally forgot Ruka Devata was a thing, but the story that went with it, they just replaced with Kusanali, which is true still, technically. That is true. It's just the name that's different, technically. Wow. This should be something everybody should remember. Huh? You look surprised. Wow. I didn't say anything wrong, did I? No, everything you said is correct. <sighs> That's good. Something wrong? Yeah, what's with that face? You knew all of this already. The fact that Paimon is unknown in this shit, that f she forgot shit, is confusing the fuck out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Don't mind me, my, my mind was elsewhere. <clears throat> Even if those two giants of the academia are here, I still have to say it. Those sages really have some nerve. 500 years ago, Lesser Lord Kusanali used all her power for the people of Sumeru. And what did they do in return? It's because Paimon is from Tavat? That's fucking weird. Now everyone believes that Lesser Lord Kusanali has been Sumeru's Archon all along. Maybe I'm the only one in all of Tavat who remembers the Greater Lord Rukadvata ever existed. As the witness of all that happened, I shall respect her choice and keep the secret for her. If you bite the hand that feeds you, don't act surprised when it turns into a knuckle sandwich, right, Sino? Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't say this, but their treatment of Lesser Lord Kusanali calls for a more severe punishment. You could simply tell Lesser Lord Kusanali that you wish to have Azar and his accomplices severely punished. I respect our deity's decision and won't interfere in any way. While we're on this topic, why didn't you accept the Academia's invitation to become the Grand Sage? Good question. Are you trying to say that I'm fit to be a sage? Maybe. <laughs> Not at all. But every person handling this election process has said that you are the most suitable candidate to lead the academia right now. Why? Because he dethroned Azar from power? <clears throat> Could you try to put it another way? This is a good thing, yet you're making it sound like I overthrew Azar for my own personal gain. But seriously, though, I always wondered if you had some personal motives behind it. I mm. did have my own motive but it had nothing to do with being a sage. If the rules of our nation were suddenly cast by the wayside, then it wouldn't be long until chaos ensued. I had no intention of letting their dreams disrupt my life. By that, you mean your life working as the Academia's scribe? Precisely. Uh, wait, is that all? No. So that's the only reason why you joined us and came up with all those plans? It's reason enough. You've certainly got quite the personality. You flatter me. All right then. How about you? You've already resumed work as the General Mahamatra, right? That's right. Will you be happy with that life? It's not about being happy. What? There are merely a lot of things that I must do. Even so, keep your spirits up and try to be happy, okay? And try to smile more every day. Just like I'm doing now. Damn. <laughs> I'm here. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. God damn. Talk to everyone at the feast. My lady, the grilled meat over there is delicious. Have you mm. tried it? Yes, I also tried some fruit just now. Oh, they're very sweet. What an amazing place to relax. No wonder everybody likes to rest at the Grand Bazaar. Fair. You said it. Oh, look who else is here. I'm the Traveler, it's me. Hello. Oh, I'm so happy Nilu invited everybody. Oh, now I have the chance to meet all the heroes. My pleasure, I'm glad we could come. Hey, less of that polite chit-chat, more eating and drinking. I agree. The feast is about having fun, not stuffy formalities. Big agree, thank you. Now, Kith, <laughs> I'm here. The atmosphere here is good. And everything is delicious. God damn it. Uh, it must be rare to see you at such a lively gathering. <laughs> yeah. I don't often come to such places. But it feels quite good. Hell yeah. I have a lot to handle these days. Otherwise, I could show you around. It's alright. Don't worry about us. 
There's always next time. We're friends after all. <sighs> this feast is pretty good. I like it. Oh, he likes it. That's what that is. He's also here, if you didn't know, chat. He's here. Uh, that's cute. Ah, there you are, traveler. Hi. Well, how is it? Are you enjoying the feast today? If there's anything you're unhappy with, just let me know. I'll be sure to take note of it. Nilu, I'm going to be brutally honest with you here. The only thing I'm unhappy with is seeing the same stage again. <laughs> I had had enough of this area entirely after Act 2 of the Archon Quest. Never mind the story quest and now this as well. I'm just going to be completely honest with you, dude. Uh, it's great. Thank you for inviting me, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's the first time I've ever invited so many exceptional people to one place. I was a little nervous myself. You see... Every guest here is quite extraordinary. It's unbelievable oh. that we've got everyone together here. Almost like a fairy tale. Make sure you live it up tonight. I'll be happy as long as you're enjoying yourselves. We have a message to tell you. He's nuts! Oh yeah, you told Sataria's message to me. I'm honored to have her think of me this way. If I have a chance in the future, I would really like to invite her to one of my performances. Oh, that'd be so cute, I dude. I can't explain why. But I just feel elated right now. Thank you. Maybe it's because you are the goddess of flowers and that's an archon and the way that you get your powers is by people worshipping you and you feel like Satoria is worshipping you so you're going to get your powers soon. Oh, hi then. Hello. I seldom participate in such lively gatherings, but the atmosphere here is quite good. Uh, they might find it boring. No. This gathering today has a unique meaning. The Grand Bazaar is lively because the people here feel happiness from the bottom of their hearts. Holy bones. Unlike the farces at the Academia. That happiness Stop is looking. an emotion that'll be forever alien to those bookworms who have driven themselves insane by studying. Hmm. I seem to have taken both keys when I left the house. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> no, you lot <laughs> You fucking bully, dude. You're such a bully. Oh... Actual bully. Am I falling asleep? Hey, what's wrong? Your head is starting to droop. It's been a long day, but still. I'm suddenly a little sleepy. Feels like I'm about to nod off. Hey, you can't just fall asleep here. Paima will go find something delicious for you to eat. You wake up once you put something yummy in your tummy. Really? Of course. Just wait here for Paima. Okay. Is it because I didn't sleep well last night that I feel sleepy all of a sudden, or is it because I'm too full? Huh? Seems like someone is there. What the f- The ballad, yeah? <laughs> it's me. Jesus fucking Christ, Nahid, are you fucking kidding me right now? <sighs> Nahid, it looks like my consciousness is connected to yours again. <laughs> Blame me for being a bit too self-indulgent. I was thinking about talking with you, and the next thing I knew, <laughs> I had made a connection with you. God damn it. The connection between us is amazing. It's like flora and the fence it grows upon. That's cute. Is there anything you need from me? I heard there's an amazing celebration feast today at the Grand Bazaar. I wanted to have a look for myself, so I snuck in. Lately, I've been so busy dealing with all the fallout from recent events, so I really haven't had any free time. I'm curious, you know. After all... Mm, no. Although you've already helped me with a lot, there's still one more thing I hope you can help me with. What? What is it? Please say thank you to everyone for me. Of course. So that's what this is about. Now, it'd be better if you could do that yourself. Uh, oh. Is it not convenient for you to do that for me? <laughs> She's so cute. it would just feel better if you did it yourself. Some things in this world must be done by yourself. But if I just show up all of a sudden, people will become all quiet and stiff, won't they? Yeah, and then they'll probably cheer and you'll feel great. What if I end up scaring them and ruining this wonderful feast? That'd be the last thing I want. Nah. It'll be fine. Please don't worry too much. Let me think about it. Okay. Have you made up your mind? Yes, I have. That's good. Wait, huh? Oh, God. 
Is she gonna do it through me? Oh my fucking god. Is she gonna do it using my fucking body? I've decided to borrow your body God for the fucking, time being. You can't do Please don't blame me. The floor also climbs up to the fence to get closer you to the You fucker. You fucker. Dude, Dale looks sick there. Okay, dude. I then at least promise me you won't say anything weird when you're in my body. God fucking damn it. I got hacked. <sighs> okay, this is weird. Everyone. Dude, my... Are you awake now? The voice. I was just about to bring you the food. Do I not sound like Nahida? It's me. <laughs> huh? That voice. Nahida? Oh, fuck. This is weird, dude. Uh, hold up. What's going on? I didn't expect to have a conversation with the consciousness of Lesser Lord Kusanali <laughs> in the Grand Bazaar. Interesting. It would be so much better if she had just come herself to do it. No, no. Of course not. Are you... Lesser Lord Kusanali? How oh, you? You know who I am? <laughs> yes. I already know every one of you. Nilu, I'll hate them. Sino, Dia, Paimon, and Dunyarzad. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> Lesser Lord Kusanali? Oh. I took the liberty of occupying the Traveler's body so that I could thank all of you in person. Huh? Thank you so much for rescuing me. Even if that meant placing your own safety in peril and taking the risk of becoming enemies with the Academia, the Sages, the Doctor, the Balladeer, and even the entirety of Sumeru. Without you, without any of you, I would have been in a much more difficult situation. Where's Have you not helped me to resolve the Ita. crisis? Not only I, but Sumeru and even the entirety of Tevat would have suffered great misfortune. People refer to you as the heroes who managed to rescue a god. I'm quite fond of this name. It not only explains your identities, but also bears witness to your relationship with me. Cute. Please, allow me to present to you my most sincere gratitude. Lesser Lord Kusanelli, you... You have done so much for Sumeru, and I, I... I didn't even have a chance to do anything for you. <laughs> you don't have to do this. Dinyarzad, the suffering you endured during your illness is also proof of you being with me and praying for me. Thank you. Aww. You don't need to be so ceremonious. It's always been my duty to protect you. This is how the relationship between the Academia and Dendro Archon should be. Oh. We just did what was necessary and set things back on the right path. True, dude. You're an Archon, but you act so humble. You really don't need to be so polite with us. I... I'm honored to have been able to take part <laughs> in this plan. I hoped you liked the dance I dedicated to you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you so much. Man. It's like she sees all of these as, like, better than she is. See, just like I said, everybody's very happy to meet you. Yeah. Hmm. Naida shows up for a surprise visit and brings the feast to its climax. Sincere joy flows in the hearts of everyone present. A warm atmosphere of talking and laughter carries on late into the night. Oh. And the feast ends on a perfect note. The next day. Please don't make me repeat it again. I really don't want to be in a samsara Did again. Well? I think I slept all right. After Nahida left, you ate a lot of food. You've become a glutton. Still nothing got better, Paimon. Hmm. That just means you still have a lot to learn from Master Paimon, the Sage of Gluttony. <laughs> Honestly, true. All right. Since you're awake now, should we go and have a chat with Nahida? She should be in the academia right about now. If you have any questions, now's your chance to ask. Oh, God. Bro, I was going to say this earlier, and I guess now is a good time to say it. I am curious if Nahida is going to be the first Archon to actually help us get any information go. about our sister slash brother, since she knows a lot. <laughs> yeah, because the only thing that was really erased was... uh. The Rook of the Barter stuff, right? She still knows the other knowledge that she had. Can we come in here whenever we want now? Wait, this is sick. Nahida! 
Oh, this is a beautiful place. Holy Hello, shit. Hello, Traveler and Paimon. <sighs> what a fantastic night. I'm still immersed in all the happiness and joy, like a candle floating on water. So are we. And that's why we're here to talk with you. What? Is there anything you want to know? Ah, fuck. Uh, about the Akasha. After recent events, the Akasha can no longer function as No, sis, the questions. I've given it some thought and have decided to shut it down permanently. But yes, shutting it down permanently is good. Thing. Even from the beginning, I've been planning to shut it down. Why is the Akasha's mm. centralized administration of knowledge has always restrained people's curiosity and curtailed the number of paths available to them? I don't think this is good for Sumeru. Although people may initially feel a little uncomfortable with the loss of the Akasha, they will soon understand that this life is more suitable for them. And as for the future of Sumeru, I'm preparing to regain control of the academia. The former sages have received their punishment, but the new sages have yet to be selected. Shit punishment. I will oversee the process personally. I hope that the new six great sages will be more focused on academics. Sumeru needs such leaders more than ever. The other big issue is the people of King Deshret. All the residents of the desert, in fact. They have been mistreated for far too long. True. I've already taken some measures to address this. It will take some time to rebuild everything. She said get off but Reddit. no matter if it's culture, friendship, or trust, we will rebuild it. I believe. It'll take time, but I believe. Uh, what happened the day... What, uh, about what happened after I fell asleep that day? What do you mean, what happened after the doctor put you to sleep? Did he take the doses? Not exactly. The top-ranked Fatui Harbingers, up to number three, possess power comparable to that of gods. I was no match for him in that kind of situation. However, in spite of the bad situation, I still managed to make a fair deal with the doctor. Pretty sure that's the first time we've ever fucking heard that, right? And she just said that like it was common fucking knowledge? Uh, okay. What the fuck? So rank one, two, and three, which is probably... Well, I mean, it's Piero, uh, Dottore, and who? Colombina? Is that confirmed? Child's voice line confirmed it. Did it say she was number three? What the fuck? I'm sure you remember the entity that changed your fate. The Heavenly Principles. In fact, the Heavenly Principles has been quiet since the Conria disaster 500 years ago. I used this point as leverage against the Doctor. I told him that the Heavenly Principles may be awakened if I destroyed a Gnosis. Although it's just a bluff, he still fell for it. I assumed that the Heavenly Principles wouldn't just stand by and let such extensive damage to its laws take place. And as for what I exchanged for the Gnosis? The exchange served as both punishment for the Doctor as well as a boon of new oh, knowledge Jesus that I couldn't Christ. refuse as the God of Wisdom. Wow, that was fucking interesting. About the Balladeer. He's still in a coma. I've hidden him like how one would hide a feather. I know you have many misgivings about him, but as someone who had become a god, he has retained a number of very useful features. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't do any evil. In addition, there are still some mysteries left in him. Some things may be very clear from my perspective, but he is still yet to understand them himself. His future will be determined by fate. I have a bad feeling, dude. I don't know. I have a bad feeling. I, I Okay, so hear me out here, chat. His character arc so far has been fucking incredibly cool. I think having the evil character, like the, the badass, is, is cool. I genuinely do have a feeling that when he wakes up out of this coma, it's just going to be another Raiden Shogun situation where everybody forgets all the bad shit he's done and he's just good and on our side and stuff, and that upsets me a little bit. Um... It might not happen, but it feels like that's what's going to happen. And I assume his story quest in that case is going to be trying to get him to understand those things that Nahida just said. I sure hope not. I really fucking hope not too, but I can't see another way around it, honestly. Uh, we'll see. I, I really, really, really hope not. I want him still to be a little shit, but we'll see. About Fontaine, the next stop on my journey. Is that where you're headed next? Fontaine, the Nation of Justice? Yes. As far as I know, that nation operates in a judicial system. Does their Archon personally judge people? 
No, there's a Chief Justice in Fontaine. Generally speaking, the Hydra Archon, Fosalor, won't preside over individual trials. Is that the is that the first time we've heard that name? Fo Fossilor? Okay. However, even then, Fosalor will still make herself present at just about every trial. It seems that she just likes to immerse herself in that sort of atmosphere. As Archon, she still reserves the right to influence the final verdict. Anyway, let's just say she's got, uh, a very unique personality. Huh? I've got nothing else to say. I'm really sorry to even get to ask about- Are you sure? Isn't there something else you haven't asked about yet? Huh? You mean- About your sister. While you were resting at Gandarbaville, I took some time to perform an ermine soul search for information Holy on your fucking sister. shit. Wait, that's- that's fucking cr I just got goosebumps, dude. What the fuck? She knew and we didn't even ask. But we both came from beyond the sea of stars. There shouldn't be any information on her in ermine soul. Yeah. Isn't ermine soul a repository for all the information <gasps> and memories of Tvat? So there shouldn't be anything on him or his sister. There fucking will be, because she already spoke to the Aranara and the Arana- Surely, right? That's why? This is true in your case. Surely! Ermin indeed does not have any information on you. However, there must be something different about your sister. Because- She's already been through the out, world. The world has recorded information on her after all. What? Either she has already been through the world, which is what we think, or she's from Tavat? There is only one possible explanation. She belongs to this world. Yo, what if Dane and Lu mean a brother and sister? Wait, what in the fuck? How is that possible? We journeyed the Sea of Stars all our lives until we came here. How could she possibly hail from Tavat? I mean, to be fair, as soon as you landed, you forgot everything that happened. It's very possible that you forgot what happened again or at other times in fucking life. Things don't add up. Is there something wrong with my memories or is it this world that has done something to her? But nothing about this makes any sense. Wasn't this your first trip to Tavat? That we fucking know of. Do you have any further intel? Do you know what she's been through? Mm. According to the records I was able to access, your sibling suddenly appeared in Conria. After the Conria disaster, she began her journey through the Seven Nations of Tavat. But just as her journey was about to reach its conclusion, the Ermansoul records on her suddenly become fuzzy. What do you mean, fuzzy? Did something happen to her? All I know for sure is that somebody, for reasons only they can know, is deliberately obfuscating her fate. Dane. And whoever it is, if they can do that, Dane. Who knows what else they're capable of? That's got to be Dane Obs obfusc obfuscating the fate because in the Taylor chapter uh, thing, in the very end, he's behind. Is he stood in front of the door, right? And what does he say? He says, "Um, you need to prove yourself to me before you get to her." Oh shit! Could it be related to the abyss? But Explain how she somehow comes from this world. Something else I noticed was that according to these records, the Fatui have not classified your sibling as one of the descenders. Fucking, I don't know what that word means now. Can you slow it down a little bit? Jesus Christ, I feel like I've been eating a bunch of cereal and there's like five nails in it going down my fucking throat. What the fuck is a descender? What's a descender? Paimon's never heard of it. Fallen? Look. I'm sure you the must stars? be curious about the information I received from the Fatui in return for my Gnosis, right? Obviously, yes. A very important part of the intel was about this world's yeah. descenders. External beings, ones that don't belong to this world. Traveler, you are Tavat's fourth descender. What the fuck is going on, dude? Holy fucking shit, fourth? Huh? So the Vatui count three other descenders before the Traveler, and his sister isn't even one of them? Dane, one of That's them. That's right. My current hypothesis is that the first descender was likely what we now call the Heavenly Principles. As for the other descenders, I still need to verify their existence. It could take me some time. <sighs> Paimon's head's about to burst from all this crazy new information. And yet, even knowing all this, 
I'm sure you must still have a lot of unanswered questions. I must say, I truly regret that I can't help you more as the god of wisdom. I don't think it's Aloy. Could it be gold, Alice? Hmm. Interesting shit. Piero's Carmia, so is so is Dean. There are many questions in my heart as well. I will need some time to go through each one of them. Same here. I'll need some time to reflect on what you've said. And soon, you'll also begin your journey anew and depart from Sumeru. Soon? We've got a I year. I'm very interested in your future. It's a journey that can't be observed or recorded Primordial by one. this world. Sorry, there's a lot of information to take in. Hold on, chat. Then your future will be the ultimate fate. Paimon, sure glad we got to meet you, Nahida. The pleasure is all mine. I can't thank you enough. All right, that's enough talk for today. If you ever miss me, just close your eyes. And maybe I'll appear in your dreams. Put me back in. That's way too much fucking information. No, put me back in. I want to go back. I want to go back for a bit. I'm fucking done, dude. My head's hurting. Close it. Please push the button. That was a shit ton of detail, dude. Check the Archon's voice lines on Nahida. I only have... What? Zhongli? About Bua. As well as ruling over all of Sumeru, the god of wisdom Bua has a duty to guard Ermansoul. Only one who possesses yeah, we great wisdom could hope to shoulder these responsibilities. All life in Tevat owes her gratitude for saving Ermansoul. Yeah, we know that. Someone said a uh, 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 Amber Kole voice line. I hope you mean Kole. Uh, I don't think I'll have fucking either of them because they're both fucking low level as shit, dude. I don't think it. Yeah, I don't. I can't check those. I'll check those when I unlock them, I guess. Commenting on a god might be overstepping my position a little. But when I was working with her, I personally witnessed her wisdom, courage, and determination. Hmm. Compared with those sages who constantly undermined and criticized her without a shred of evidence, I think I can provide a more reliable assessment. I don't have Venti or Raiden. She is an exceptional deity who is worthy of everyone's respect. Hmm, interesting. He does admire her. Bro, that quest was probably... Probably one of the more interesting quests in the entire game. Kaveh voice line. I'll check it at some point. I, I'm not going through every fucking voice line of the game right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've just done seven hours worth of constant information. I need a, I need a fucking mind breather for a bit. That was the biggest lore dump I think we've ever had. I don't want to be going through voice lines right now. God damn, dude. That quest has just fucking blown my mind. It genuinely has. My brain is going to be racing for hours now, dude. That was the best quest I personally have done in Genshin, I think.